everything's working. Probably. Hopefully. I, I certainly hope it is, otherwise the lesson's gonna be a little... more delayed than it already is, so... Hmm. We'll figure it out. Evening, Shibato. How's it going? I had to reset my chat because for some reason it wasn't connecting. And so that means that I can't read chat. And I kind of need that if anyone has any questions about art. That's that's kind of important. Hey, love. Good, good evening. Plus two, plus two. Wait, I got it. I got it. Five. Yeah. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Hey, Chowder. What's the homework so you can get ahead and start on it? Uh, I assigned it in the past a uh, couple art streams. It was five expressions of your OC, different ones. Uh, there was some um, anatomy practice, drawing poses. And then there was drawing head angles and drawing hands. You can choose to do whichever you like. Uh, and then you can put them in the feedback channel, and then you will probably get some feedback. I recommend asking what kind of feedback you want, though, because some people have put in pictures and gone, Feedback, please! And I'm like, I... I don't know what feedback you're looking for, so I can only give very general advice. So, keep that in mind. Maybe it's because I'm new to your stream, but I just noticed something. Are your ears tied to your eyebrows when you write? Yeah, good eye, Zekru or Zekrul. <laughs> good eye! They are doing the to the eyebrows. Allows for more control. Hi, Neko. Good evening. Merlin, I don't have pose and hand stuff? That's okay. You kind of just do this in your own time. No rush. Whew. Impact, thank you for the hydrate. All right, let's go. Let's go, baby. Our time. Our time. It's getting close. It's getting closer. I can, f I can feel it. We're gonna do art today. Or at least we're gonna get reviews of art. Gamer, you're technically new to class? Well, welcome in. You're a little behind on the homework, but that's okay. Not like you can't catch up. Neko, you won this time. No high train. Oh ho ho! What's this? we get to focus today? No big distractions? Oh. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? Guess I'll just uh, keep moving along. And we could do some uh, good reviews. Just take my count. It does indeed. Yep, it does. Guy, hi. It's run away from the hype train to avoid fl- Listen, I didn't run away from the hype train. I usually spend 10 minutes doing last minute setup behind the scenes. Today was a very, very busy day. I didn't have time to do everything. It happens. Also, Impact, thank you for the head pats. Pop. Hi, Hack. How's it going? Bellion. The registration window closed, so I had to go through the admissions office to get in. Sorry. Nah, no worry. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Of course it's free anyways. Ooh. And Meta, thank you for the irregulars. Let's go through the redeems first. <laughs> there are no snacks. You're supposed to bring your own snacks. I brought my own. They're sitting next to me. I have not eaten them, despite the fact that I really, really want to. But I can't. Y'all are probably gonna watch me eat a little bit of food uh, in a little bit. Just, just a heads up. Also, just follow Bottoms. Thanks for the breathe, Redeem. And hi, Hulk Squid. How's it going? I can share. You got all sorts of snacks? Good. There you go. Y'all can, can ask Carter if they can share. And just follow Bottoms. Thank you for the posture check. Excuse me. 
I'm a teacher, do I still need to get my homework checked? I mean, if you're in my class, yes. You can still be a teacher and be in school. Class, at least. Coffee's just bean soup. Yes, yeah, uh... Yes, you're right, but I don't know if you should say it. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. Waiting to a steam song mid-class? Someone's redeemed it already. Zero es espana es espadas. Thank you for that. I will say thank you, and then we'll do a song, and then maybe I'll take a little snack before we go. Gecko, don't care. It tastes good. It does taste delicious, Gecko. You are correct. <sighs> I only have decaf coffee, but it's so tasty. It's so tasty. It's my bitter bean juice. Still have your old model with the tavern waitress? I do indeed. I do have all my old models. They're in a backed up hard drive somewhere, so. I'll have to check it out later. See, just, just for old time's sake, you know? Take a look. Find. Kept my word. Thank you for the gifted sub. And Meta, thank you for the gifted sub. Welcome in. I hope you're doing good. Very kind of you. A neat original name. Thank you for the hundred shinies. And Cam, thank you for the gifted sub. Shadow Sparta, welcome back. Happy 19 months. Love watching night. Thank you. I love doing art for y'all. I'm, I'm glad that people seem to like it and seem to want to learn. I think that's really cool. And Cosmic Crustacean, thank you for the resub. Happy 19 months. Are you here for the lesson too? Meta, thank you for the 100 shinies. One more time, perhaps, but Gob, definitely. Yes. It is definitely goblin time, but also homework. No, for the for those of you who did it, I take photos of my old camera and counted as art. I mean, you can uh, just just to clarify. Um, tonight we are doing a feedback. So basically, all the homework I've been assigning after my art one on one classes, I'm going to do feedback of them. So, please do not post um, random art into the feedback channel. If you are going to share your art, please put it in the feedback, or sorry, the, the artisans table of the Discord. I will only be doing feedback art. Neko, welcome to the cute two. We will learn from the best. Art 101, never heard of it. Art for beginners? Never. First time here, the model looks sick. Thank you, sheep. Sh sleepy. Sleepy Vic. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Jinxy. Thank you for the resub. Happy five months and need an original name. Thank you for the hundred shinies. Beware there be goblins. Oh, indeed. Indeed. And Blood Asp, thank you for the resub. Happy anniversary. Congratulations. You made it a full year here. What's your secret? Almost a whole year of honey goblin goodness. Time very well spent. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks. And did he ruin it? Or did I ruin it? Thank you for the hundred shinies. Kindred, thank you for this. Oh gosh, the sub for six months. Well, welcome in. Here for a long while. <laughs> I hope you're gonna have fun. Mariak, thank you for the resub. Happy 19 months. Welcome back. Oh, it just keeps going. Y'all, come on. <laughs> Thought we were gonna start on time. Taiwanese New Year. Wish everyone happy. Happy Taiwan New Year. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Tansel, thank you for the resub. Happy 16 months. Oh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And Chaos Dragon, thank you for the 100 shinies. Deliver Girl Seiko, thank you for the resub. Happy 18 months. And a good time and a long time coming. Happy to be here still. Thank you. And Kokugan, thank you for the resub with Prime. Welcome back. Happy half a year. All right, almost there. Echnite, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the tavern. We're having a good Monday. And Neon Black Stallion, thank you for the hundred shinies. It's... <laughs> we gotta start art soon. We gotta start art soon. Ready for art lessons from Teacher Gabo. Good. Good, you got your notebook ready. <laughs> Ventral, I'm doing good. I just have a little bit of food I'm gonna munch on, and then we're gonna start... I'm gonna sing, and then we got a lesson. We got an important lesson. Important to get feedback. Uh, you'll... The you're the sixth. Thank you for the resub. Happy five months. Happy times ahead. Always love the good vibes. Thank you. You bring good vibes, so I appreciate it. Art? No, only cute. Listen, we can get both. Can we not get both? 
I don't see why not. Kid learn and see cute things. Win win. I go see you cute. I am begrudgingly getting used to that adjective, indeed. Slowly. I will accept it, maybe. Hey, Sageling, welcome in. Speaking of seeing cute things. <laughs> She's refusing to acknowledge a cute estate. Listen, I'll be. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's fine. It's fine. You're disturbed, I can tell by your ears. A little bit. Only a little bit disturbed. I think it's gotta find a new way to fluster when she becomes immune to cute. Oh! What if I become immune to cute, though? I'll become so powerful! What'll you do then? What's your plan then, Dingus? Huh? Got any ideas already? <laughs> Alright, let, let me just, uh, real quickly... Sing a song. What's that? What's that? You can't respond? Oh? Oh no. Oh no! Whatever you're gonna do! Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, Zero, thank you for waiting so long for the song redeem. We're gonna sit Nick, using the power of the VR. Alright, alright, I see how it is. I'm gonna sing a nice, a nice calm song today. I got, uh, I turned off the background music, right? Yes, okay. Good job, honey. Gotta, gotta boost myself sometimes. I don't know what to do without you. I don't know where to put my hands I've been trying to lay my head down But I'm writing this at 3 a.m. I don't need the world to see That I've been the best I can be But I don't think I could stand to be where you don't see me On sunny days I go out walking I end up on a tree-lined street I look up at the gaps of sunlight I miss you more than anything I don't need the world to see that I've been the best I can be But I don't think I could stand to be Where you don't see me And autumn comes when you're not yet done And the summer's passing by But I don't think I could stand to be where you don't see me. Man, I love Mitski. Mitski's so good. Oh, let me stretch real quick. Mm. Sick body feel a little better. Beard, you're sick? Oh, I hope you get better soon. I hope you feel better pretty soon. Get being sick sucks. A lot. Thanks, Wendless. D Diva, your band covers that song? <gasps> You're in a band? Yo, that's really cool. How do you get over performance anxiety? Like, uh, like stage fright? How do you get over that? I've been trying for like two years. And it hasn't been working very good. Well, that's not true. It's been working a little bit. As long as I'm not like, physically in front of people, you know? I got the big runner. You got the big runner. I hope you. I hope you recover quickly. And there's no long-term effects. That really sucks. No song, but a sad feeling song. It is. But sometimes you can feel happy even when there's sad songs going on. Thank you, guy, for clearing my redeems. Oh, Gecko. Thank you, Gecko. Gecko praised me. Yes. Gecko's. Gecko's got good taste. 
Thank you, guy. Not enough for me to forget. I keep. Shh. 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 is if angelic singing could distract me from finding your kryptonite, even if it's really, really nice. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Is it distracting? What if I just start playing on more music? Oh, also, let me know if this music is too loud. It shouldn't be, but you never know. Play the steel drum, slide whistle, thunder sheet, and bass. Hey, yo, slide whistle. That's hard. Diva, I honestly don't know. I'm shaking for like the first two seconds. Yeah! Okay, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I, I got the same thing where it's just like. I just start uncontrollably shaking for a little bit, and then I'm like, okay. I've gotten it out of me. Now. Time to actually get down to business. I go, why wouldn't I praise the coolest goblin? I don't know, but it feels nice. <laughs> Thanks for me, stage fright would be turned into anxiety, which would turn into energy. I'm trying to get that back rather than relying on a shot of vodka. Yeah, that's probably not the best for your liver. But at the same time, like, it, it is tough. It's particularly tough. Show a close-up of my characters that count for my homework. Uh, if, if it's- if you're wanting feedback on it, like, ask for specific feedback. I may not grab much more from the Discord. I have already selected what I'm going to review for the Discord. Unless I go through those extremely fast, uh, I may not grab new ones, so we shall see. I've also just- just for- for safety's sake, um, blanked out everyone's icons and names from the screenshots I have taken. Um, just in case someone didn't read the rules, or someone doesn't want their name attached to their uh, art. So the, the art that I'm grabbing from is from the feedback discord, just a heads up. The real reason Snack is no longer here is use, is use, blah, blah, blah. I can read, I can read, come on. Thanks, Sageling. You ever play a Mario fan game? I don't play Mario games, actually. The only one I played is Mario Kart and Mario Party. I find those are fun with friends. Is the real reason Snack is no longer here to be used to tell you anything is that you thought you could fight against chat and take away whatever ways to call you cute? Ah. No, the, the bot literally broke. Like, uh, the goo bot's not working for me, so I have to figure out an alternative. Sucks, but... Eh. Tech sometimes breaks and you just gotta do what you gotta do. Reds teach. Alright, alright. I will do my best. Ash, what are we doing? Right now, I'm gonna eat a little bit of my, my dinner. Like, on the couch. There we go. Okay. So much food. I made so much food, but didn't eat it. There's a bunch of salad and beets and chicken. So good. Why am I not super hungry? Hmm. Worked out today. Could be hungry. Like I eat right now? I mean, yes, a little bit. I don't want to get hungry during the lesson. Give me like, give me like two minutes. Which users at work were at chill, not chill about tech breaking? Yeah, I mean like, tech breaks all the time. You just gotta cope. Just find an alternative that works when you need it to work. Or worst case, just say it's broken, because it is broken. <laughs> These go really well, but tonight, boom! I'm eating beets right now with goat cheese. It's very good. Cole got me a, a Hobbit cookbook for Christmas, and I've been making so many of the recipes, and a lot of it involves like vegetables, cheese, and bread. It's really good. His copes, jeez, mauled your goblin mouth. Jimmy didn't do your homework? How could you? I was so looking forward to seeing it. Just kidding, you're good, you're good, it's all good. I don't want- I don't want anyone to ever take that joke seriously. Cause like... You're not actually getting a grade or anything. This isn't gonna affect your permanent record or... This is for fun. I'm free learning. Hi, Glue. I'm eating salad. I'm being a healthy gob today. Not just because I ate a bunch of marshmallows last night, um, but they were really good and fancy and raspberry flavored. 
Uh, making up for it now. No way. Um. Mm -hmm. Max, my dog ate my PNG, I swear. <laughs> Billy, you had burnout, so no work at homework? That's totally fine. No need to force it if you're feeling burned out. That is okay. Art's weird. Don't try to force it. Try to rest. That's more important. Bop, bop, bop. Mm -hmm. Gotta eat some more. Mm -hmm. I just got back from work. Does it count as homework? I you just get to rest, homie. Roger, thank you for the hydrate. I apologize for eating with my, my mouth, or talking with my mouth open. Shoot. Talking with my mouth full. That's the one. Uh, I'm gonna put that back there. I'm gonna take a little hydrate. Thank you, Razzy Dazzy. And Impact, thanks for the posture check. Oh, water's so good. Roll a dex charity check now. What is my dex? My dex is pretty high. Oh. oh. Why? What you throwing at me? You think you can throw things at me? Game Illustrator. Did the homework, but when I do practice art, I focus more on what I'm trying to improve on rather than rendering my work. That's good. You don't need to do highly rendered homework, especially if you're just working on shapes and line art. I think it's talk with your mouth closed. Mm. No, I can't. Ah, <sighs> what if I could? Then I wouldn't have to worry about people. Ah! I was gonna say, don't have to worry about people thinking my breath smells bad if I just call talk with my mouth closed. <laughs> Cam, thank you for the hundred shinies. Since we can make snack, tell you how cute you are. Here's a reminder of your cutest gobbo teacher, VT. We're so cute. Now read this so I can live in your head rent free. Say I am cute. That I'm legally obligated to read that. All right then. All right then. Also, the plug bear. Thank you for the resub. Happy five months. You're not late. I, in fact, I'm the I'm the professor that showed up late. I'm eating dinner at my desk. Discorded noise. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh jeez. Didn't know there was homework, so I'll just pay some money instead. You didn't gotta do that. It was it was free. This is a free lesson. You don't gotta do that. I appreciate it, but come on. Growing in the mouth. Oh, that's smart. I should have done that. Now I'm curious if there's a sign language VTuber. I think that VTuber might have to be 3D. Just for the, the hand tracking, because you would have to sign with all of that. Um the the 2D tracking is only so good, like, you can track with the hands a little bit. But to get really precise hand motions, you would probably have to be a 3D VTuber. So I wouldn't be surprised if one did exist. The Dino King. Welcome in. Didn't know there was class? It just started. It just started. Like, it barely just started. I still got some, some vegetables to eat. Yo, the Ali Aaliyah, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. I hope y'all are doing good. What's up? I go join late, eat in class, cute, finish class. I mean, if you if that's the order of events, kind of, yes. There's only one strategy to homework, and that's doing it during lunch and finding the teachers to give it to them. I'm sure your teachers loved when you did that. Hi, Aslu. Hi, Giga. You laid us so pretty, so is your mom. Thank you. Made it myself. Rolls d20, check cuteness. Sorry, hold up. Let me get my d100. <laughs> Hi, floaty thingy. You know you can walk into most colleges in the- Yeah, I've literally done that. I've actually- I've, I've done that by accident. Uh, but yeah, if, if you just sit down, most of the times, no one will notice. So you can get, like, information for free. You won't get any accreditation. So, so you won't get any, like, a diploma or anything, or, or like, a, a master's. But you'll be there for the information part of it. I don't know if... I, 
I don't know if that's allowed, but I I know that like at least a lot of schools had that where you could just vibe in the classrooms while the teachers taught. I mean, you can go ahead. Thank you, Tofu. Oh, so you were playing Hades? <gasps> oh, the bisexuals game. Great choice. I I love Hades. Everyone's voices are very, very nice. And the art for every character also very nice. What kind of classes anyway? Art class. It's casual art class. You can just vibe here for free if you like. These streams are the equivalent of chat lining up to put apples on Honey's desk before class starts. <laughs> I'm just going to be making so many apple pies. There's no way I can eat that many apples. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops on, thank you for the hundred. I'm going to try this on you. Are you related to Saint Martha? Your voice is so angelic, it could pacify a Tarrasque. See if this works, you know your history. Or play D&D. I do play D&D. And I do know what a Tarrasque is. I don't know too much about uh, many of the storylines of D&D. But I do know the monsters. Not that well. Don't test me. I, I get, I'm nervous. I get test anxiety. You set late redos of homework. You can submit them. There's no guarantee I'll look over them. Because I would have to grab things directly from the Discord. And, and put it into a file. Thanks, Wonder Raid. Nice to finally meet you first time catching a stream. Hopeful for some funny moments. No guarantees. I don't know if I'm funny. I'm just here to teach art sometimes. I do what I did to all my teachers and charm you into letting me turn all my homework right before the semester ends. Uh, no, there's late marks. Depends on how small the class is. Small classes, the prof will probably kick you out. Big classes, yeah, they won't tell. Yep, that's pretty much it. Quick speak apples. Up it, uh, up it, uh, uh. I think I forgot how to speak for a hot second. Sorry. Have you seen Dark Crystal Age of Resistance? I have indeed. It is one of my favorite shows. It is very, very good. I like puppets. And the, these are very, very good puppets. Alright, I'm gonna eat some more I'm gonna eat some more beets real quick. Thanks, Jingus, for the encouragement. I only want to start playing D&D, but I haven't gotten around to reading and skimming the starter book. You don't always need to use the starter book, but if you're the DM, you might need to. If you're just looking for a campaign, like, you can try to find one with, a, like, a DM that's looking for players. Base did not deserve to get cancelled? It did not. Absolutely did not. I really wanted to at least finish the storyline in a comic. It was so good. They already had the props and everything. They didn't need to cancel it. Thanks, Zero. Mm -hmm. Gonna draw some of your friends? Maybe later. If we go through the review, maybe I'll draw them a little bit later. I guess no worries, homie. Can tell you like praise. Don't stay like that. It makes me sound needy. Jeez. I mean, I, you're not wrong, I do like it, but still. But you see, it didn't make all the money ever, therefore it was inadequate. It didn't make Netflix, tr like, trillionaires. Clearly it was a failure of a show. What do the investors think? I'm so sad sometimes about content that gets cut short like that. Especially really good content. It's so easy for bad content to get multiple seasons now. But like good content, or like, heavier storylines are hard to keep going, because you never know. Alright, one second, take a real big bite of beet. Mm. Mm Gremlin. I'm not smart enough to answer that. 
Little nudie is cute. Don't worry, I'm the same way. Sometimes I want encouragement. Oh, Max? Yeah, inside job. I really like that show. Shame it got canceled, though. Could have done with one more season at least. That would have been nice. They could at least wrap it up. <laughs> Off top, do you like it up? <laughs> yeah. I very much enjoy playing Uno. However, it does bring out the worst in me. Like, I, I can play a lot of multiplayer games. Like, I can play Fortnite without getting too mad. I can play- I love playing any FromSoft game, with maybe the exception of two. And- and it's very easy not to get mad. Uno? That's it. That's the game where I lose it. That's- that's- that's the one! That's the one! I don't know why, but I turn toxic whenever I play it, and so I only- I try to only play it with friends. Because then, even afterwards... Our friendships will probably stay intact. Probably. I hope so, anyways. <laughs> Toxic kind of it's it's listen. Oh yeah, hat in time too, but that's that's more of a game design thing. I'm not good with 3D platformers, so hat in time is one of those that kind of frustrates me. Dingus, I don't have a green. What are you? Yeah. <laughs> You know what? Maybe, maybe I'll have a little collab with some of the goofballs in the future. And y'all can see just how, how quickly Uno riles me up. Is there an adequate reason for it? No. That's the fun part. I don't know why. It gets me so riled up. But it do. And I've got to live with the consequences of my words. Looks like he's cute, honey. I don't know. I don't know. You haven't seen me while I'm toxic. I don't think, though. I don't think you've seen it. Never play Uno with honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch yourself. Evil honey breaks into your house to look around. Wonder what she did. She missed. <laughs> Your must have been stole some change in the ashtray and maybe ran off with a crayon or two. It would be cool if it was that tame. But it's just the goofballs. Yeah, my buddies. They're part of the group I'm in. The goofy. Oh. Mm -hmm. We make you do a charity swear jar with Plano. I'm very good at not swearing. I've had to teach kids and babysit and coach them. Since I, I was a kid, I am very good at not swearing. <laughs> it's very easy. Screaming, on the other hand. Yeah. I get loud. That's why I mean each swear like $100. Ooh. Steep. At that point, though, what if I end the stream without having sworn at all? Is that Does that make a, a good... Charity stream or a bad one? Hey, Bob, I'm doing good. I'm just eating some beets. I didn't realize how long beets took to cook. I was like, oh yeah, it'll be 20 minutes. An hour later and they're finally soft. And I'm like, I have to stream now. All right. Cool, 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 cool. And you don't have 500. Yeah, I, you just throw some in at the end. Eat by Dr. Drake. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Aki, you got homework? Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. Hope you handed it in in time. Very good not swearing. Please okay, yeah, you got me there. Absolutely got me there, Saint Shark. Or Shark Saint. Spookies makes me swear. swear. It's just so scary, and I'm, I'm not good with jump scares. Uno, instead of, like... Frightening jump scares, they're like anger. The anger comes out from within me. Also, Edith, thank you for the gifted sub. Welcome in. Um, um. What if I get $700 to say seven bad words? 
Save it for a charity stream. Maybe. Maybe I'll say seven bad words. I even think of seven bad words. I can only think of four bad words. Um, I can only think of four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can only think of four. How many are there? How many swear words are there? Uh, don't, don't put them in chat, obviously. But like, uh, seven? Okay, one sec. <laughs> I don't want to say them. I don't want to say them. <laughs> and give you all the bad words in other languages too. <laughs> Dink is finding a way around it. For each bad word, 10 minutes of stream saves you. It's a steep price. Game Illustrator, honey gets hit with a plus four. I'm about to recite the entire international dictionary of swear words. <sighs> a lot of the times whenever I want to learn a new word, I'll ask my friends in the goofballs, and I have to inflict psychic damage upon poor, poor, sweet Gary whenever I'm like, what's this? And then we all get to learn because most of the times it is like, <laughs> the vibe is like moon going like, oh, you sweet summer child, I will DM it to you later. And then there's Gobby who's just like, oh, oh, I'm so excited to tell you versus Mr. Man who was just like, Say it right to your face, just like, you don't know it? Here it is, kid. Recite it for me. <laughs> oh, dirty squirrel! <laughs> Thank you for the raid! Welcome in, raiders. How are y'all doing? And Sonic Sniper! Thank you for the reset. Happy four months, welcome back. How was your stream? About 40 to 50 bad words in the English language. I feel like I don't know enough of the words now, but I don't want to learn them right now because TOS. I only know four. Ill Illuminati confirmed. Oh, you're playing Tunic. How is Tunic? Like honey, seven bad words. Zoinks, Jinkies, Creepers, and Bazinga. <sighs> also, Attila the Hobo. Thank you for the resub. Happy 14 months. Like 50... All dirty. It was good. How you doing? I love you, little cute guff. Thank you. I I'm just eating some dinner real quick before I go over people's homework that I have assigned them. So we're doing drawovers today. So I'm taking basically chats drawings and kind of drawing over them and giving them a little bit of critiques and constructive criticism, so that if they want to learn, they can continue to do so. So I've given them a big chunk of information with a lot of streams, and I. This is kind of a good place for them to stop and get feedback. You son of a biscuit eater. Oh, that's another word I know. This is the one instead of biscuit. Okay, that's five. I know five. Almost only squirrels, right? Hens, are you tasty? <laughs> I don't know. I've heard places where people eat a whole bunch of stuff. Like some people eat snakes. Can you imagine eating a snake? Might want to try it at some point. I don't. I don't know. I'll. I'll I'll try almost any food once. Then again, most most things can be eaten only once. <laughs> Leak Le and Tater, thank you for the sub. Welcome into the tavern. I, I hope you're doing well. We're just uh, vibing real quick. I keep forgetting to eat this beef that's in front of me. One sec, let me eat it. Take a bite, take a bite. I'm eating beets with chopsticks. What am I doing? Fun fact, there's a database of slurs. I don't know if I want slurs. I don't know if I want to learn slurs. I, I, I like swear words are different. I made a mistake. <laughs> good to be confident in yourself. Alligator's good. Really? I thought it'd be tough. Twice if you're brave enough. Right, she bet. Someone uses clean versions of swear words as know as much as person playing COD does. That's a lot of words. But there are things to be eaten twice. If you feel like it. Ah. Trying 
Tyler, no. I will not. I refuse. I think it's just good to know them to not accidentally say yeah, exactly. I just don't want I just don't want them to become get into any part of my vocabulary, you know? Also, handball you too. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. Okay, I'm I'm just eating. Sorry. Uh uh blah 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 blah. Oh, you're doing alright, what were y'all drawing? How was your stream? Uh I, I gotta eat this beat. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of rage doing this all at once. Um Sorry, I had to eat a little bit of salad. Too faster! Okay. Sweet. I got the teacher was late and one hour in class, she only ate lunch. It's tasty. Alright, let me take a sip of water. Also, just follow bottoms. Thank you for the breathe redeem. Sorry about that. Okay. And voice, voice div, thank you for the ear wiggles. And impact, thank you for the posture check. Okay, one sec, one sec. I will deal with that in a moment. Let me let me take a little little zip. Okay, that's a lot of water. Whew. Butterful, thank you for the two gifted subs. Thank you very much. And Diode Destroyer, thank you for the thousand shines. Oh my gosh. And I wish I could have a teacher like you when I was in school. I did make a ring, but the words I put on there were backwards because the literate is me. I think that's kind of cool. Ring with backwards words on it. What if you like punched into, into Play-Doh with it or clay? Then it would actually have the words you want on it. Could be a cool D&D weapon. Oh, just stretching. <gasps> Hi, Squiggles. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Chowder, sorry to teach, but I have to go to day school tomorrow. All right, then. Go have fun at school tomorrow. Get some rest. It's pretty draining, so be careful. You're too Steph, you're doing circuit analysis right now? I think that's way out of my, out of my uh, field of knowledge. I can't grade you on that. Jeez, that's that's smart people stuff. I'm just drawing and doing doing little little fools on the internet. Yes, Squiggly. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, Squiggles. But yes, if y'all want to check out another very very skilled artist, I really like Squiggles' art. Go ahead and follow uh, Pink Little Clown. They are very very fun. They also stream and they made their own model, if I'm not mistaken. Very very good stuff. I'm wonderful, thank you for asking. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, quick question, how do I start drawing digitally? It's one of those hard things where you just kind of have to start. You just gotta go. Don't try to make a perfect piece when you first start. Just do little, little like, memes and doodles. Don't try to force it. It's okay. It will take a lot of adjustment because the, the pen pressure is different. The drag is different. You can adjust a lot of those, but there will still be some adjustment time. I learned this week after getting nunchucks that they could really help improve risk control for drawing. Ayo. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> All right. Kindred, thank you for the 100 shinies. I believe now is a good time to switch on over to lessons. What do y'all think? Lessons? Lessons? Feedback? I think it's a good time. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. Ignore the popping. It's just me. Being a silly little guy. Alright, I'm gonna do my own quick warm-up drawings. And then we're going to do some feedback. Just wanna make sure my wrist is good. 
because for the most part I've been drawing a lot today making sure that my brain doesn't get burnt out sometimes I got to draw some fun stuff for myself even if I don't post it sometimes the feeling the need to post it can really put pressure on me to finish it and make it perfect so drawing stuff for myself is a really good way of preventing burnout Fixation. Thank you for the resub. Happy 10 months. Welcome back. And the red hex. Thank you for the resub. Happy four months. I like those arms emotes. But popping adorable. Well, it's a sometimes treat. I can't do it all the time. If I did, then the, the streams, the, the audio, it'd be poison. All right, just making sure I got all the redeems up. Yes. Okay, good. I gotta stop doing it. I got it's it's a habit now. Oh no. Alright. So I'm going to go over my <laughs> frog fixation. Bisexual detected. Hey, oh. You're among friends, it's fine. You're in a class of your peers. Ding a yummy poison. It's just <laughs> Oh, Tide, thank you for the Prime. Welcome back and happy seven months. Hey, uh. Once you pop, you can't stop. Really, though. Really. All right, so just a reminder, today is feedback night. Oh, this is something very, very important. I completely forgot I have to do this. Thank you for reminding me. My scatterbrain. Uh, there we go. Okay. All right, just got to add a disclaimer. Uh, what color should we make it? Yeah, I'll make it white. It's really big. Sorry, I'll fix that. Feedback is subjective. My feedback is subjective. It is not hard rules. There we go. Okie dokie. Oh no, I selected the wrong thing. Make it a little smaller. And a little smaller still. There we go. Lock that. Okay. Uh, last thing I also forgot is do I have the background music? No, I don't. Excellent. All right. We're good to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Isola, thank you for the posture check. Give it to the adorable habit. No, I mustn't. I shan't. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, yes. So, my feedback is subjective, meaning that just because I think that these are things you can do to improve your art, air quotes, improve your art, does not mean they are the hard and correct answers. I want y'all to keep that in mind because I am not the all knowing artist. I can only teach you what I know. And so this is just my personal feedback, if that makes sense. Feel like with homework I'll be working on something? All right, Neko. Better not be working on what I think you're working on. All right, first off, let's start with this one. This is posted into the Discord. So I humbly request art help and feedback. I've been drawing mostly heads for most of my art life, and I'm just starting to grant my drawings actual bodies. The point of mirroring here is to showcase the fact that the character is fluid in appearances, but I also understand how it could imply a set of twins. Okay. Understandable. Uh, anything is appreciated, and as a side note for whoever uses this channel, criticism is a bad word. Edit something about the head throws me off. How do you guys measure eye distance for non-human characters? Okay, that is that is a question that I can answer. As for the twinning, uh, it's a little 
difficult. I think even if you were to draw twins or other sides of your characters, you would probably run into the same questions or the same problems. So there's no clear way of showing it unless you like put like a then and now above them if you really wanted to, but that is up to you. Panzer, what's happening? I am doing a uh, art draw over. So giving some feedback to people who have done their homework and just want general help with their art. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So usually in terms of distance for eyes, it is kind of the same rule. So when you're drawing eyes, you want to keep them about the same distance apart of their eyes. Does that make sense? So this length should be about the same as these two. That's a general rule for eyes. You don't have to follow it, and some designs don't follow it. Uh, an example, I think, would be... Oh, Death from Puss in Boots. I think that character breaks that design. Uh, but generally, it's usually the same rule. And in terms of... Yeah, in terms of mirroring, that's kind of the same thing. You're going to run into probably that different thing or different uh, situations of like, people are either going to think they're twins or they're mirror versions of themselves. That's a hard thing to kind of get around, especially if you have just, um, if you use the mirror tool. I use the mirror tool, but if, if you're drawing characters like this, sometimes it's a little hard to show. Thank you, guy. Mage Vivica, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. I hope y'all are doing well. What are you up to? Are you playing Monster Hunter? Nice. I love the little cat animations. They're so cute. I hope you had fun. Uh, welcome in Raiders. Today I am giving feedback to people who post their art in the feedback discord. So, welcome in. Maybe you can learn something from this. If you'd like. If you have other art questions too, we can answer those a little bit later. What if you draw one of the characters in the mirror? That is actually a good way around it. Yeah, I mean, or a uh, shoe squeak. That's a good, good point. So yeah, specifically for the, the eye quote or the eye question, this is generally the rule. It can be broken though. Point of mirroring is to showcase the fact that the character is fluid in appearances. Okay. I think this works. I think this works totally fine. But yes, you can also like one other option is a uh, literal mirror. Uh. Uh, put time on it. Well, but if it's if it's just showing that the character is fluid, then time doesn't quite make sense. So yeah, I guess you could do a literal mirror. You could. This is also just. You could do this. It is good. Maybe listen, girl from and boy from to spell it out to people. Depends, because this. I'm not quite sure what the gender is. Like, they could be NB or just like in between. So. Boy and girl might not necessarily apply in this case, so I can't say for sure. All right, one down and there's a bunch to go. All right, warning, the second one is a little bit creepy because of the character design. Just keep that in mind. This is an expression sheet. I would, let's see. So do give feedback. Again, be careful when saying do give feedback. If you ask a general question, you will receive a general answer. For the most part, though, this homework was to show different expressions, so I do know what this person is asking. Have fun lurking, mage. Make, yeah, make sure you get some food and stretch. But yeah. So, for happy, I think this is a good idea. Yep. Having generally curved... I would be... thing I would be wary of is uh, eye direction. Try to keep, choose an eye direction if you want the character to be able to express more. Although if you are going for the creepy style, having hollowed, slightly off-centered eyes, so instead of them having a direction forward, having them off-center does help to make it look creepy. But that is up to you. Angry? Let's see. I would probably push this more. Bring the eyebrows really down. I'm going to this a little transparent so you can see a little better. Angry. So generally anger has a lot more pushing, scrunching of the face. It can help. 
So if you want, you can... Another thing that might be difficult is, yeah, although you are using the teeth, that does help for anger. Because your character doesn't seem to have lips, it will have a harder time expressing um, certain expressions. Which may be the point, because if this is meant to be a creepy character, then yeah, it works. Uh, but if you want anger... Probably something like this. I'm just gonna do Steven Universe teeth. Easier. Sad? I think you could push this a little bit more. But yeah, you have the right idea with the sloping eyes. I think, again, having the mouth move down might help. Because right now, if it's, yeah, lipless, you're going to have a very hard time doing expressions that are not just all creepy. Sleepy? Okay, yeah. I would... Remember, you can make the features slo stru uh, slope downwards to really push an expression if you'd like. You can also add bags underneath. Uh, shocked. Again, this does... It's hard to tell, but with shocked, you could probably shrink the eyes a little bit more. Maybe add bags. One of the issues with this design for expressing is that it doesn't have a whole lot of features. So you're gonna have a hard time pushing stuff. Sorry if I keep saying that, it's just like... It is a harder design to work with that I am not as familiar with. Are the phrases you're tracing related to Five Nights at Freddy's series? I have no idea. I don't know anything about the Five Nights at Freddy's series. Confused? Alright, good idea. Yep, pushing the eyebrows like this. I would watch the consistency of the eyes. Having one eye smaller than the other is not necessarily bad, but again, you want to be careful in shape language and making sure that the lines lead into each other. Because this doesn't quite work in terms of confused. Is quite confused if someone had if your character had lips, you'd probably have something like this. Again, your character is always looking at the camera. Try to mix that up. If it's always looking at the camera, it's gonna look a little stiff and stale. Try adding different directions for the eyes, because that can help to push an expression. Yeah, surprised. Hmm. Or shocked. Let's see. Feel like I'm gonna be overslept? No worries, that's okay. Yeah, let's see. Uh, try... You have the right idea here for stretch, uh, stretching and compressing the character. That is a good, that's a good idea. I would push it a little bit more, because, yeah. Again, the main problem you're going to run into is the fact that the eyes are all looking forward. Yeah. That's about it. Alright, let's see. Next up. Uh, uh, wrong layer. There we go. So, it is a picture of, I believe it's like a shrine gate. Uh, again, just putting feedback, please. Uh, I'm going to give you very general feedback. It may not be what you're looking for. General feedback here. Uh, learn about um, proportion in terms of character and environments. For example, if how tall is a character supposed to be in this picture? Are they supposed to be... I zoom in here. Is a character supposed to be this tall? Is this how big a human would be in the picture? If so, this little, uh, I forget what they're called, they're like lanterns. This thing, a little too big. It would probably need to be about this small. Or, let's say this person is about uh, f uh, five, six feet tall? We'll say six feet tall. The gate would be about 12 feet tall. Most gates that I'm aware of are much taller. If you want the gate to appear more, like, uh, not stoic. Stoic's not quite the right word, but like, otherworldly and mystical. Probably want to reference actual shrine gates. Um, it, they usually appear, even if they are not actually this tall, if you want to give the appearance of something grand, you make it bigger. Because if a character is about this big standing right next to it, that's not a very big shrine gate. Let's see, what else? Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, again, if it's general advice, if you ask for general feedback, I can only give very, very general. Panzer, yes, this is posted in the feedback section of the Discord. Have a good time at work, Ponderful. Thanks for hanging out. And Golodat, thank you for the Breathe Redeem. And Golda, thanks for the hydrate. Sweet. Also, Symboli, Symboli Rudolph, thank you for the reset. Happy 19 months. Also, thank you, Jock Game. All right, so that one. So for this one, again, there was nothing posted. It was just general. So I'm just going to give very general feedback. So I would recommend looking at how close your character's eyes towards each other. There's only about this much of a distance between them. When again, the rule is kind of thirds. The distance between the eyes should be fairly consistent. This applies for almost every design. Almost every design. And so, yes, the Discord is password restricted. It's to keep bots out as well as make sure that people read the rules because that is very important. Oh, are you going to find your artist gum? Oh, you got artist gum? Smart. Having something to do. Sleazy, I'm noticing a lot of overlap between good design of things like car design and character design. It's quite interesting. Might have a few questions about shading and color usage. Yeah, I'm not super knowledgeable on color. As far like, I usually use pre-made palettes, but occasionally I like, I like to mess around. So yeah, for this, a good forward facing. I like how you... Pretty smart. Pretty smart. Very smart in how the, um, shoot, what are these? Are they, is it dreads or braids? Shoot, I am not knowledgeable enough. But they, they are contouring the head. So that is very good. I really like that because if you braid hair super, super close to your scalp, it will contour around it and it's just round objects. So it would be most straight here, but it would be curved around the rest of the head. So very good job there. So the eyes, I would move over here so that they have the equal distance there. Let's see. Similar rule for eyebrows. Eyebrows usually hover almost above, almost like a second eyelid. That's at least how high I draw them. But they overlap the eye slightly. If that makes sense. Hi, Sol. You have a camera tracking your hand, or is it all done from the pad? It's all done from the pad. It's literally just tracking my pen position. Or my mouse position, even. Eat it. Thank you for the head pads. Hi, Jekyll. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Thank you, Dwarf King. I just want to thank you for all these drawing sessions. As someone who hasn't drawn since high school, this has all helped me try to learn again as I tackle drawing on the computer. So, thank you. Oh, my God. No worries. I'm, I'm very glad it's helpful. I'm always... <laughs> One of the things I really didn't like about school was... Not necessarily my art school even, just generally school, is that... I would have bad attention... and A bad attention span. So I had to ask questions a bunch of times. And I did that enough that a lot of my teachers stopped... Being nice to me while I did that. Death, thank you for the raid! Welcome in! We're going over homework right now! How are you doing? Dingus, so basically a third eye should fit between... Yes, exactly. Not all the time. There are definitely designs that break this, but generally, as a rule of thumb, that is a very, very good one. One trick. First time on stream, I say your character model is really cute. Thank you. And uh, official Doppler effect. Thank you for the prime. Happy stream, baby. But yeah, my, my teachers, um, they stopped... Vesperti, it's in the Discord and the feedback section. Make sure to ask what feedback you want. My teachers stopped <laughs> being patient with me when I asked questions. And it, this was when I was a kid. So in doing that, I stopped asking questions. I stopped asking them questions specifically. And I would ask my friends instead who understood the material. And so it was, it was frustrating because although the adults knew best and knew what they were teaching, I felt like I couldn't ask them because they would treat me like I'm stupid. So that, that's kind of one of the big reasons I really, really, I don't mind when people ask me the same question over and over, like as long as it's a legitimate question, you know, 
Like, that's why a lot of the times when people come in and they're new and they're like, oh my gosh, I like your model. Who did it? I will sincerely be like, yeah, I made it myself. Because I don't... It's never a given. Sometimes people are new. Sometimes people forget. And that's okay. <laughs> I, I, I've been there. You know? <laughs> Thanks, Jedi. I'm okay, though. I also got bad attention span. It's pretty hard to understand. Yep, it's, it's a little difficult. And I don't want anyone to ever feel bad about that. Oh yeah, Death, you're playing Yakuza. Ooh. Man, I've still never played Yakuza. I watched a little bit of Girl DM play it. It looks fun. It looks wild. Recently got a new drawing tablet. So I was wondering what you think is good to have on your hotkeys. Ooh, okay. That's a good question, Sageling. Sorry, we're getting a little off topic, but that's a very important question. So normally in your drawing program, uh, Control-Z and Control-Y is undo and redo. Those are really, really important. We're <laughs> Womp Shrimp. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to the tavern. Would it be would it be bad of me to assume that you are aware of Shy Lily? Very gorgeous model. I haven't watched many of her streams, but she seems pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, um, I would recommend having a flip canvas horizontally button, even vertically if you'd like, uh, because a lot of the times that's that's really really helpful to have. Uh, Control U, usually in Cliff Studio, is to adjust colors, so you get a sliding scale. Um, and then a lot of the times you can set the hotkeys to single letters. Like, I like my fill bucket to be G. That's just me. It's kind of whatever you'd like, but those are the big ones I would recommend having. Most programs already have what's set up, and you can adjust it as well, so don't feel like you have to stick with them. You know, that would have th <laughs> thrown me back with my anxieties? Yep. Yep. It, it really oof, messes, up, messes up your self-confidence. I gotta teach. So I'm sorry, but I got a drawing idea. Maybe you good night. <laughs> good night, Joshua. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Dingus hit me right in the childhood. Yeah. It's very hard to ask, and it can be scary. Gotta go teach, but I got an idea. Like, ah, gotcha. Thanks, Joshua. Curious now. Teachers always seem to be butts when it comes to ADD and ADHD. Yeah, to a certain extent, I don't think... At least when I was a kid, I don't think it was that... Uh, actually, the neck is good. Yeah. Like, aside from the eyes, I think this is great. Aside from the eyes, that sounds mean. I would recommend uh, using the, th the three eye rule. But, like, great job on the dreads. On making it contour with the head. Nose looks good. Mouth's good. The jaw looks clean, and and like, looks great. But yeah, it's it's really rough when teachers back then were not educated about ADHD and ADD, and a lot of the times they different types of learning disabilities got lumped together, and so it really was not great. Oh well, thank you. These aren't my drawings. These are from my Discord. Some good general advice with hotkeys. Some of it I got down, but that might actually have me review what buttons I use. Yeah, you can change them to whatever you like. Just make sure they don't overlap with, like, the Windows tab or something. Hi, Shermer. And hi, Drake Frost. Crane, if you do exclamation point tools, you'll find out what, uh, what I'm using to draw. All right, so this person asked, how may I improve? Hmm, well, it does this, let's see. Just, just from going off of this picture... Uh, it looks like they're drawing physically, so no digital drawing. Uh, let's see. I can't really see anything to draw, like to to improve upon, because I'm I'm not an expert in drawing um, like monkeys and apes. That's not my particular skill set. However, I will say you did a very good job. Like this is a grainy picture, of course, but you did a very good job of like making the eyes focus on something off screen. The rotation of the head looks very good. Uh, geez, there's so many raids today. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Hi, Queen Kramer. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. What were y'all doing? What were y'all up to? I'll say more monkey would improve. <laughs> uh, I think it's really good. Like, looking at it here, it looks like you have a good sense of anatomy in terms of, like, what the legs would do. But the way the arms are proportioned. And it looks like you have a really nice line of action with the body. Like... It looks really good. You, I might just be out of my area of expertise when it comes to this. 
as a monkey anatomy is really, really spot on. Yeah, exactly. I think the only thing I can think of is even then, I don't even think it's it's a real thing that you need to worry about. Let's see. If you would like, I would recommend this is not really related to this monkey art, but like if you wanted to, you could try moving on from this to inking pieces. Uh, however, that's not really advice um, that you need to take heed of. Like it already looks great. You also got a really good sense of like proportion with the hands. Like good job. Again, just ask you that that they might this might not be what they're looking for, but like the question, how might I improve? I'm not sure. Depends on what you want to get better at. Let me just do this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I, I just want to see what you're playing. Oh, you're doing art. What were y'all drawing? Runa, it's been a pretty busy Monday on Twitch from what I've seen from my feed. At this point, I think a lot of streams are winding after the day. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Will there be more streams where you get feedback, feedback like this one? Couldn't find the free time to draw this one, but I'd maybe like to do that the next one. Yeah, I will probably do this. I don't know if it'll be monthly. It'll probably be every couple months because everyone's busy. Everyone's got lives. Um, as well as like, I might just give feedback directly in the Discord. However, I thought this was a good opportunity for people to like take a break in case they weren't able to do any of the homework last week. This is an okay place for just to vibe and learn from other people. All right, this one. I'm curious from how well the sense of fur might catch over the shoulder sketch, or carry over from the sketch to more line art style. Yeah, I'm curious too. I'm not particularly strong in terms of like my line art skills, but yeah. I guess even when you can't hear, you can tell Honey is doing the little mouth pops. Sometimes that it just happens. The enemy looks great. Maybe some line definition rendering. That's true. Yeah. It really depends on what you want to go into. Once every three months, 20 bucks to submit, it's free, it's free. Don't, no, it's free. All right, so. Did this during stream and meant to post it here, but I got sidetracked by homework. Absolutely fair, do your homework. I feel like something's up with her face, but I can't figure it out. Okay. Let's see, so specifically face help, all right. You can also help out with anatomy, let's see. Ranger Deluxe Gaming, thank you for the prime. Welcome into the tavern. Right arm's a little short. The monkey pose translates to the right side being more dominant size. I don't know enough about monkeys to draw, but let's see. Hmm. For the face... I think... I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. There we go. Let's see. I think what might be throwing you off a little bit is the eye. So this eye is open like this and looking kind of slightly to the left off screen. This eye is looking forward to the camera. So it depends on what eye direction you want. Uh, let's see. Because if you, you, you kind of just have to choose one or the other. What else make this eye slightly bigger? Yeah. I mean, you got a good sense for proportion. Uh, structure of the face is good. Let's see. One thing that I might be wary of is uh, the neck. And again, sorry, this is going into things that you didn't want feedback on. Uh, the neck here is good, but necks don't curve like this. Not not right at the side. Necks are usually a little more straight. So what I might actually do is put the neck a little bit further back. And then have it connect like this. You can have the collar here. Let's see. Yeah, aside from that, um, this leg looks thicker on this side. And this leg needs to be a little more solid so that they have the same volumes. Aside from that, like you got the fabric folds here. This is over the shoulder. Got the hands good. 
I feel like something's up with the face, but I can't figure it out. So a lot of the times with the face, not not always, um, but with the face, <laughs> whenever I see something looks off, what I'll usually do is I will turn off the features layer and redraw the eyes. The eyes can like really make or break a piece. So if you feel like something's off, I recommend cutting the eyes off and putting it on a separate layer and then redrawing the eyes and see if it works. And then seeing which one you like better. But yeah, I think that's about it. Move on to the next one. Alrighty. I think it's cutting eyes. Yeah. I gotta do it all the time for making models. Of course, for real. Thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> Trimmer, eyes to the windows to salt. Exactly. Oh. Artist gum is kind of like super eraser. Oh, is that what it is? Again, I am not super knowledgeable in physical medium, so it was not my strong suit. Hey, Sky, how's it going? Just doing art reviews. So this person said, not homework, just doodles, trying to get a better grasp of how to construct the body in joints. I'm in the ballpark, but not quite there. Okay, I can definitely give you some help there. So with this, you can kind of see it because all the pieces are here. What you're kind of missing is the structure underneath. So I can very clearly see that you are following the lines, but not understanding why the lines are there. Make the joints a solid color. Yeah, it's smart. So if you look at this, I, I can see it here with your with your sketch is that you did oh, wrong color. You did the circle part here and the line of action, but then you stop doing that for the rest of the body. So you actually want to continue doing that. What you want to do is you want to I'll, I'll draw it in between here, actually, just so you can kind of see. So you want to draw the circle line of action, the circle, the circle. Again, look here, there's contrapust. Those are the two lines for the hip and the shoulders. And then it, this depicts, this is very important because it shows which leg is straight and which leg is going to be bent and have less weight on it. Hi, Jade Breaker. Why do I gotta wait? I'm just giving a review. Sky, home from work. Welcome home. Make sure you get some good food in ya. Gamer, so turn off the eyes. I figure that both lets you see the errors with the eyes drawn themselves, but also more easily pinpoint the issues elsewhere on the face head. Yes, that is another point. Oh, thank you, Mothman. Lone Jitter, can we still submit? Uh, I don't know. We're going to see how much I can get through in this stream. You can submit into the feedback and you can get feedback there. Not necessarily on stream, though. So then we have the circles. See these circles for uh, the shoulders? We're going to have the legs here and the arms. So I'm going to create another layer because why not? So you can see that I've drawn the circles. Uh, let's actually go a little further and keep drawing these. I'm going to draw them as little cylinders here there we go okay now i'm going to go over the shapes and why this might look like it has more dimension than this juvie thank you for the raid welcome in how was your stream well reminds me of something my artist friend always tells me you can tell a lot about their character by how they stand at idle yes you can learn a lot about a character's personality based on what they're doing when they're not doing anything. So, if you look here, we're going to have... Ah! <laughs> Rice and such. Thank you for the resub. Happy 15 months. 15 months of Goblet Taxes? It's been a bit. It has been a bit. Also, Juby, you're playing WWE? Ooh, nice. Nice. How was it? It was good? Yeah, I'm glad. I'm just doing some art reviews for people who put their art in the feedback channel. Let's see. So as you can see, we're going to do the anatomy here. So if you look here, this is what the rib cage will look like. 
So although this looks this looks cleaner, it's missing some of the structure underneath. So if you want, you can go back into the uh, Anatomy 101 class for skeletons or anatomy. And that'll, that'll help to give you a sense of how to draw the shapes are, that are hidden inside of a body. So one of the pieces that you are missing is A, the rib cage, B, the cylinder inside of the body. It's kind of hidden, but it is important and it's there for a reason. This is, this is fine. It's not quite, it's not per great. Uh, that's a bad word for it. It's not quite what you need if you're still learning anatomy, because this is a very flat rendition of what you will be putting into your model or your character's art. Drox has got so many raids today. Yeah, there's a lot of raids today. It's also directly affecting the proportion. Yes, indeed. So you would have the shoulders here, the anatomy of the head, then you'd have the neck as well. And yes, it is correct that the there are ball joints here. So drawing them like a doll is very good because it can help you understand. And having dolls to help you pose out a character, excellent. I actually got one for Cove while I was out in New York and they have like lines on them to help her out. But this is kind of what, this isn't the perfect drawing for it, but yeah, this is kind of what the anatomy underneath should look like. Cause right now it looks like you just drew, you, like you just drew the lines, which doesn't quite help to learn why the lines are like that. Azure Matriarch, thank you for the raid. Welcome in Raiders, how are y'all doing? Death, thank you for the hundred. Gotta go to bed four days away from my vacation, but tired from work and stream. Have a good art stream. <gasps> You're on vacation soon? Oh, good. I'm glad. I hope you have a good vacation. Hey, Warbird. Hi, Nook. You're playing- Oh, you're playing Hades. Eh, someone else is playing Hades, too. The game for bisexuals is for me. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Thank you so much for the raid and showing you, sharing your community with me. I really appreciate it. Be honey now. I don't play with dolls. They're for work, I promise. Literally, though, um, <laughs> I, I want everyone goes through a phase where they're like, oh, I hate dolls. They're so childish. But now as an adult, I'm like, I want them. They're really good reference, please. I need ones that have ball joints and movement so that I can reference poses. It's very handy. But yeah, so I would recommend for this. Practice drawing the actual anatomy. I would recommend drawing uh, raw skeletons from multiple angles. That is definitely how you spell angles. <laughs> yeah, that would be my recommendation. All right, next up. Again, I hid the names because I don't know how comfortable people are with that. And I didn't ask beforehand, so just to be safe, making it semi-anonymous. I said raw skeletons. I may have misspoke, quite honestly. Night, Silver Arrow. Also, Shadow, thank you. Juby, I love dolls and action figures. Yeah, they're great, right? I really like them. I don't have the space for a lot of them, but they are really cool. I've come back around to liking them. Look, this is my hole. It was made for me. What? what? Uh, Dingus, I prefer my skeletons crispy and well done. Ah, uh, yes, you like the toasty dry ones. Joke's on you. Skeletons are always wet. Think about that, huh? In the Figma hand posing model? I don't think I have. Usually when I draw hands, I, I just use my own hand as reference. All right, so feeling like the line art isn't good. It's clean, but makes the image look boring. Any recommendations? No, this is a good drawing, honestly. I think so line art is really difficult. There was a good post about it, but like to break it down, I will draw a really quick rough in a better color. Jeez, honey. This is my rough of a face. Face. 
And so you see this? All of the lines are messy. However, if I try to clean it up, my brain won't like it very much. And for good reason. The main reason is because although there are too many lines and it is too rough, somewhere in there is a correct line. And your brain is like, oh, okay, it looks good because the line is there, even if it's not clean. However, if I try to clean it up, I try to clean it up. Let's see. Give me a moment. It doesn't quite look as good as the rough. Something about the rough has more life to it and, and bounce. So. Part of that is you just haven't drawn the correct line, but also part of it is when the lines are blurry, your brain tricks yourself into thinking it looks better and it's correct. That's why the line art stage can be so difficult sometimes. Line art takes me a genuinely very long time because I have to choose the correct lines. Sometimes using a textured pen or a different brush can help you with that problem, but sometimes it's just a matter of going Control Z. Try again. Control Z. Draw again. Control Z. Drawing again. And it takes so long. So understandable if it makes your, your art feel more flat and a bit more boring. But that's okay. That is a practice thing. Do you write this down? Yeah, it, this is one that took me a really long time to learn. I use vector layers to get my lines perfect. Yes, you can use vector lines. If you want to, I absolutely recommend trying them out. It is difficult. I don't use them uh, because I, I like the, the rough look of it, personally. Mallow, happy to be in the tavern? Good. I'm very glad. Look, all I'm saying is if given the chance, I would pull out all the stops on a doodle, honey. Why, thank you. I'll treat myself until then. I don't know. Do I have high standards? No. Am I socially anxious and will hide from people? Yes. I have done it before. Sky, imagine getting used to Control Z and then going on paper. Oh no. Yeah, I have done that way too many times. I've started drawing my sketchbook. Cause sometimes it's fun to draw in sketchbooks. And then I go, undo and with my fingers. And I'm like, honey, this is paper. You gotta erase with an eraser. And yeah. That's why I like drawing digitally. Undo is a very fun tool. Draw a raw skeleton first before anything else. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Oh, Bob, your dog has fallen asleep. Sleep well. That's where you gotta live for now. Alright. So I think this is a great piece. It is obviously crunchy because I screenshotted it from Discord. But actually looking at the piece in the Discord, I think it's great. If you want to spice it up though, what I recommend trying to do is, uh, you don't have to f clean or fill it in. I would try shading it. Because sometimes shading it can add some extra depth that was not previously there, you know? Something like that. It can just add a slight bit of pop, even if you feel like the, the line art might not be completely there or it feels flatter. It adds dimension. So give it a shot, if you're feeling it. Hi, Coyote! Mastrilta, shading is what brings line art back to life because it's closer to how we see the world IRL. Light and shadow. Yes, that is pretty much. That would be my solution. Is, yeah. Try shading it. Maybe a single, like, darker shade color. Give it a shot. See if you like it. Undo is a very fun tool until you go too far and control why we're being like, oh, yep. You gotta be careful. All right, here we go. Tried hard with this one, but something is off. Maybe the eyes. Okay, yeah. So with this one, you are correct. It is the eyes. Part of it is also structure. So if you look at it here, you draw it like this. You look at it's a three quarter, well, close to three quarter face. The nose should probably be around here. 
And if it is, look at how the eyes are spaced. So when you have a head in three quarters, one of the eyes will be smaller than the other. The eye that is further away from the camera, if you look at my face right now, the eye that is further away from the camera will be smaller than this eye. That's just because of perspective. So similar to this, you do have the, you do have the correct idea with the three eye rule. It is basically there, so that's good. Good instincts. But for this, this eye would be slightly bigger. It's tricky and it takes some practice, but you do have the right idea. I would also recommend trying to uh, watch head anatomy because this the top half of the head is sliding this way a little bit. So just try to keep the head anatomy consistent. Same thing with the eyebrows. This general eye takes up a little bit more space than this because it is showing more of this side of the head than it is this one. Make sense? I hope so. Uh, oh yes, another small thing. The neck would be a little further back. Just a little bit. So when you rotate your head, a lot of the times when your head turns three quarters, your neck, you, it doesn't move backwards, but your head pivots along the neck. So your, your face will come forward a little bit if you look at how my model is rotating. But when you come back to front view, it is in the middle. So it's all a matter of where your head is positioned. Odd question, what is this background music? It is uh, Sessions Diana. If you look up uh, League of Legends creator friendly playlist. Hey, the bunny, thank you for the breathe redeem. And the red hex. Thank you for the. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. One sec. <laughs> I lost my redeems page. There it is. Okay. Whew. Red hex, thank you for the earwickles. And Kay, thank you for the Breathe 3D. And lastly, Bloodass, thanks for the posture check. I am super thirsty. Oh. Ah. Oh. <sighs> All right. Whew. But yeah, aside from that, this piece is good. I like it. As a non-artist, it's always been crazy to me how much perspective shifts lines in a place so much. Yep. Perspective, wildly important. It is very difficult to do too. All right, so this person did over five expressions, so good job. And let's just go over them. So I'm just gonna go over how you can push your homework a little bit. All right, let's see. These are good. These are very clear, clear expressions. We're gonna find this Discord if you do exclamation point Discord. Very cute with the ears, yes, I agree. All right, let's see. Let's see. Wrong color pen again. There we go, okay. So, this is very good. I like this. I like how you're using the ears and the expression as well. It's very nice. So, yep, you've done a great job. Even the bow, actually. Great job. Where the eyes are getting wider. The mouth is getting larger and stretching. Well, it's... Yep, looks surprised. For this one... I would try stretching the jaw a little bit. Not necessary, because like this is already great. But if you want to push it even more, this is an option. Just stretching the face. A good job with the ears and everything pointing up. Very nice. I like that the ears are pouting. Let's see. Yeah, this is good. If you want to, you can add a little bit more pout in the cheek. Just compress a little bit. Just so it's like extra pouty. You can even push the nose, or not the nose, the mouth up a little bit if you wanted to. This is good. You have the features going in. Yep, even the mouth. Good job. Very nice. Okay. 
you want to, you can add creases in the eyebrows to emphasize it. Not necessary again. Just something you can add. My main thing is the ears aren't in the right spots for some of them, but long ears are hard to figure out positions. Okay, so I can, I'll teach you a trick for uh, ear positions after this real quick. Let's see. Happy. Very good. Nice. Yeah, she looks happy. Even her eyes look happy. This is great. Let's see. This is a little bit like disgust or confused. Nice. The one that might be a little confusing is this one, just because eye direction is really, really important when it comes to um, where a character is looking, because if a character is looking in two separate directions, it's hard to tell what they're focusing on. And that can be really funny in terms of jokes. Like, just think of the SpongeBob reading a... Uh, <laughs> reading a horror book late at night the, where his eyes go in two separate directions. That's pretty funny. But in this one, I can't quite tell what she's looking at. Is she confused by something on the ground or is she confused by something above? Can't quite tell. So I would say choose an eye direction. Let's see. Uh, so in terms of ear positions, I'll show you all a trick for what I do with ear positions. Oh, stretch real quick. It's hit her head? Hmm. Can't quite tell. If it's hit her head, then you might want to add like a goose egg or something. Something to visually show that it is happening. Because right now I can't read what expression it is. Let's see. So yeah, the... So for ear positions, I would recommend drawing your character like this. So ears, generally, not always, are usually right around in between the nose and the eyes, if I'm not mistaken. But the nose is here, mouth is here. The ears, I'm going to do just simple triangle ears for now. It would be positioned like this. So then if they were to move up or down... They would still stay in about the same position because they wouldn't change their point of anchorage. Same thing with the upward angle. That's a general rule for this. So, in keeping that in mind, if we're looking at where the eyes are and the nose, then the ear should probably be around here. Let's see, it looks about right here, yeah. Not bad here, yeah. Yeah, aside from that, that's pretty good. Main thing might just be like, it might just be a matter of practicing. Because some of the volumes are inconsistent, but that's okay. Like, even I have very in inconsistent volumes with my own characters. It's alright. Goblin pentagram. <laughs> yes, the summoning circle is complete. I can't even draw the circle. Eh. That's okay. Yeah, that would be my feedback for this. Very good. Very, very good readability on like these poses. I really like them. This one, again, just because of the eye direction is a bit confusing. But, again, these are great. Good job. Alright, this one. Another expression homework. I know what this is for. I can give feedback. Alright, let's see. So, let's see. There we go. <laughs> so this is another five expressions. Let's see. This is amused. It looks fairly neutral to me. If you want amused, I would recommend... Hmm. Well, then again, some characters don't express very much, but if you were to push the expression, I would try... Making it smile a bit more. Let's see. It's like opening the eyes a little bit more if you want. I mean, it's just a hard one to do because... It's hard to tell what someone's being amused by. Are they being amused by, like, a video game? Are they being amused by a cat playing with a toy? Like, there's a bunch of different kinds. That's a difficult one to express but like for amused 
Good idea. I like I like the idea of of getting the ears up. Good. Using the full character's body to help sell an, an emotion. Very good. Let's see. Also, if a character has a thick neck, instead of having it sloped down like this, instead having just thick square neck, and keeping in mind the shoulders is very good. Good job with the neck and the collarbone, though. That's good. Intrigued? That's pretty good. It looks more like he's scowling to me. If we're intrigued, I might have like a raised brow. Could, or like one eye slightly open. Just having an eye direction helps. Intrigued usually implies like they're they're excited, so they're smiling. That's an option. Irritated. Irritated and angry are difficult because anger seems to have a bit more emotion. Irritated is a little bit more tired. So irritated. You have good idea with keeping the, the uh, brows flat. Yep, good idea with the mouth. Irritated, I might push the ears down. Because that can show a little bit more of the irritation of the... Of the this is not a pleased expression. Again, for for the body language too, you can have him slouching a little bit. Like he's very tired. Ominous. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yawning, not really an emotion, but like, not bad. It does look like he's laughing. So yawning might ins be like this instead where the mouth might be open wide, might show bags underneath. Let's see. A little hard to express, but like, not bad. I think it's good. <laughs> yeah, good job on the homework. That's good. Ominous is very good. <laughs> We're about halfway through. We got a lot. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, let's see. Let's actually take a quick break. Have some Q and A. Uh, Q and Q. Q and A. If anyone has any questions, will I take a sip of water <sighs> and stretch? Ugh. Talked about yawning, and you <laughs> drew the old mouth, and I yawn. That's good, you know it's good when the expression is contagious. DM Darius, thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> Excuse me. Questions and questions and questions and no answers. That's right, that's what you can expect in a honey goblet stream. Thanks, Starlight. Sky, I reminded people, if you'd like to participate in the feedback channel, read the pinned posts and ask for specific feedback you're looking for. Being vague won't help you much in artistic endeavors. Yes. Ask a general question, get general advice. You won't improve that way. I can only do what you ask of me, so... Careful. Hey, Andrea. I'm doing good. Ugh. Just stretching. Yeah, Starlight, I just said thanks for posting the Discord. Oh, I'm back. Phew. Motivation tips. I have drawing bursts and then I stop for like a month. That does happen. Uh, let's see. I can only speak from my own experience, but in terms of drawing, I treat it like a, like a treat. So after I do exercise or do a meal, I will let myself draw a little bit. Have some fun and draw something that I will not post. Something that is just for me and it doesn't need to be for anyone else. When I draw for myself, um, it helps me to experiment and not worry so much about what a piece looks like or what other people will think about it. It's really helpful for me because if I try to make something that I know I'm going to post, I will be very harsh and critical on it, and I'll be I'll be 
very upset with it if it's not exactly how I envisioned it, you know? So doing it by yourself and without any pressure to perform, that helps me. Sometimes you cannot force it, which is the really unfortunate part. However, whenever you hit that point where you can't force your own brain to do more art, that's when you gotta pick up a different hobby. Not leave art completely, but try a new recipe. Try cooking something new. Try cleaning the house. Try sewing that hole in your sleeve. Just doing something else that is either creative or mending, you know, with your hands. That can really help to kind of just let your brain relax. Because the harder you try to grasp at something, especially art, the harder it will be to hold on to it, you know? Thanks, potato. Is the skeleton raw? Yes. Something I mentioned, do you do feedback or criticism on finished artwork? Not lately. This is actually the first time I'm doing feedback. I was very hesitant to do this at first because sometimes feedback can be very, very detrimental to a growing artist's self-esteem. And I never want to be responsible for making someone stop doing art because it is very hard to get that mojo back. But it also got to the point where my tutorials were in need of a check-in point for some people who were willing to do it because to continually give lessons is helpful, but to not get any feedback is not as useful. Is to get feedback is to know exactly what areas you need to work on. Diamond, got myself a tablet. Whoop, sorry, that just disappeared. <laughs> got myself a tablet, K10 in Kimlinitsky, if anything, but the screen is a bit big at 10.3 inches FHD. I have no idea what those words mean. I just have a 20, I think it's like a 22 inch Cintiq. <laughs> That's all I got. What would you consider a beginner tablet? Whatever is within your price range. If you have never drawn digitally before, I recommend trying to find something cheap and inexpensive because then if you don't like it, you've only spent a little bit amount of money. But if you do like it, then you're like, okay, now I know I want to invest in something bigger, like a big Cintiq or even just a bigger tablet. That is up to you. I don't know your finances. It is up to what you're willing to spend on this potential hobby or potential career or just potential art form that you like. Range, what would you... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry if you get asked a lot. No, don't worry about it. It's okay. A lot of people come in here asking like what kind of new tablet to get. And that is a very fair question. I don't mind repeating it. However, I, I may not have the best answer, which is, yeah, look for something cheap and expensive that you won't worry about if it's stops working or if you don't use it. I still struggle to draw proper clothing folds on any character. What do you think would be the best way to learn it or if you have any tips for it? So Blood asked, actually this is something I did the other day. I am not particularly good at drawing cloth. It's probably one of the weaker points of my uh, artistic abilities. So what I did was I did a cloth study. I looked up tutorials for how to draw cloth and I used reference of how other people draw it. But most importantly what I did is I drew a character in the pose I wanted, wore the clothes that the character would be wearing, and then I took my pictures of myself with my phone in the outfit that I wanted my character to wear, and then referenced the folds on my body. This, it, again, it, that one can be a little bit difficult because if you are drawing a masculine, like a really masculine character and you have a more femme frame, a little bit more difficult. So for that, you will have to look up reference. I recommend looking at uh, free to use images, like just generally trying to look for the best and closest picture you can find possible of an IRL person wearing that outfit and doing the pose that you want to do. It takes a little bit of research, but it does genuinely help just to reference it or even trace it and then redraw it. Max, I did Inktober, which stressed me a lot, but taking a break helped me relax a bit and start doing it again. Also, I took up pole dancing. <gasps> nice! I want to try pole dancing. It looks so fun. It looks like it'd be really good for my core. But yeah, Inktober is good sometimes because it forces you to draw, but it can be rough because it forces you to draw. <laughs> it's good and bad. Josu, what program do you use as an avatar? That's a full question. So... Uh, but, 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 but. 
I drew it in CS Paint, rigged it in Live 2D Cubism, rigged it for an app called vBridger, which plugs into an app called VTube Studio, which plugs into OBS. So it's like a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. So no worries, it's, it's a huge process to make a model. There's no like one program I've used because this is a custom model. There are some pre-mades that you can look for online. Uh, there's also a free to use character creation one. I'm so sorry I do not have the link, but it does exist and it's free. So do check it out. See if you can find it. Sky, question. How do you learn your own personal sweet spot on what settings you decide for digital art? The brush, the size, canvas, etc. It always seems difficult to find that preference. That takes a lot of experimenting. Uh, I will say I am very stubborn in that if I, I literally use the default brushes at their settings. I have stabilization completely off. I use maybe size 10 to 12 for brushes. Um, and that's like the default. I just learned using the default, which might be a good way to learn if you're having trouble with all the finicky stuff. Try drawing as much as possible with whatever the program gives you and then refine it later on if you like. But for the personal sweet spot, uh, for canvases, um, I would highly recommend if your computer can handle it, trying 3000 by 3000 pixels, uh, preferably 300 plus pixels per inch, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's like DPI. It's the three little letters. That's resolution size. I usually do it 600 just because then I can do little details and it looks great. And then I tone it down for Twitter because nothing really needs to be that detailed unless you're making like a huge wall poster. But yeah, those are the settings that I would use. It, the preferences are totally up to you. It is one of those like you will slowly realize what size canvases you like in time. If you're finding that no matter how big the canvas is, you are drawing too big for it. Start zooming in closer when you begin your drawing, like zoom in really far in and then begin. Tardilla Noche, thank you for the song redeem. And first, thank you for the gifted sub. I will sing after q and I just wanted to make sure that I respond as many questions as I can. Will there be another art feedback stream? Yes, probably not for another month or so uh, because I've got lessons to teach first, more homework to give out, but it won't be for a little bit. There will still be feedback being given in the feedback channel, but actually streaming it, not for a while. Do you have any advice for aspiring artists who don't have visual mentality? There's not an insignificant number of people who do not see things in their imagination. So Dragon Friend, uh, that's, if I'm not mistaken, that is called aphantasia. So when you visually, or when you cannot visualize in your mind, this is amazing because I can, <laughs> I can do the opposite. It's a spectrum. I can visualize, I can taste, I can smell and feel the objects in my mind. That is just something that I can do. My brain does that. It does that visualization process. However, one of my friends, Moon, they have aphantasia. They can't see anything, as far as I know, when they do art. But their art is spectacular. Uh, there's You can look it up on YouTube. There's a lot of artists that explain what aphantasia is and what they do for it. Um, but to get into vis visual mentality can be difficult because I have not gone through that experience. So I would recommend finding the artists that have gone through it and seeing their, their side of side of the story and like seeing what they do to work with it, with this, um, difficulty visualizing. It doesn't mean you can't be an artist. Not at all. There are wonderful artists who can do it. Like, again, I love my friend Moon. They can draw amazingly their render style is wonderful and they have a wonderful way with palettes and colors so cool highly recommend you actually can we get a shout out for moon real quick where is the shout out for moon oh gosh chat really noomed uh but yeah let me shout out there we go yeah thank you guy same time yeah check out moon their art is really really good and they have aphantasia too. They might be a good person to direct your questions to. <laughs> I'll get there in a bit. One sec. Very good course for strength. I use self-refs with 3D animation. Self-refs is important. 
Oh, Gaming Illustrator. I want to know, do you have any experience drawing comics? If so, any tips for us comic artists? I do not. I have no experience with it because I know just how hard it is and I am not good at it. So I may not be the best person to give advice for that. My recommendation? Uh, Hope Studio has a lot of manga programs, so if you want a program that helps with that, it's a pretty good one. Uh, but I think you find a bit more helpful information looking elsewhere online. Clover just Honey Goblin is actually a goblin. Yep. <laughs> Any tips on getting better at digital art? I have a Wacom into us and find the learning curve really hard. Try playing around with the pen stabilization in its settings. Uh, but be kind to yourself. It is a tough adjustment going from paper to digital. And it, it's not a particularly easy jump either. You would think it's easier. But it is a adjustment because the pen runs smoother. It doesn't press the same. You can't quite tilt it exactly the same. There are tricks around it, but it's just a matter of time and getting used to it. It took me, I think, like three months. So give it a bit. Game Illustrator, you started with a Wacom 22 inch. Yeah, me too. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually, to be fair, I went into art school having never drawn digitally and they they have uh cintiqs that you could use at that school and so i've just always used a 22 inch cintiq so yeah tingus then some funny words too bad i'm not reading them <laughs> me most days Can agree with the starting with a cheap tablet thing. I used a Wacom for the longest time. Would say a Huion XP pen brands are too shabby, aren't too shabby either. As well as are cheaper and still work quite well. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, gamer. Ram Dragon about the mojo, it's so true. I stopped drawing about five years because I have an issue with my hand. It's fixed now, but I still have issues feeling the mojo to draw. So hard to get back. I watch Honey because she makes me do homework and that is motivating. Good. There are also some programs, like like online programs and tutorials that give homework that you can also do there if you need more work to do, you know? How do you make effective character designs? Silhouette. If your character is recognizable by the silhouette, it is, in my brain, a good character design. If it is not, if it's muddy and you can't tell... It's, it's like the who's that Pikachu or who's that Pokemon game. That Pikachu. Who's that Pokemon game. If you can tell what Pokemon or character it is just from the black outline, to me, that's a good design. Crimson Void, thank you for the resub! Happy 20 months! A bit late, but never too late to be happy for 20 months of entertainment. Thanks, honey, and stay kind. Thank you, Crimson. It's very kind. DPI doesn't matter if you're just going by resolution. DPI only matters when you print it out a certain size. Ah, okay, I didn't know that. That explains why my teacher said it was only good if you're making it for a poster. Okay. Do you have any lessons on lighting and rendering? Nope! Haven't gotten there yet! My lighting and rendering style is also not like realistic, it is very cartoony. So I might not be the best person to go to for that. How do you know if a body part is not in proportion? Like if the arms are too short, the legs long, or the head is too small? I think it's a matter of sensing it out. That's kind of a practice thing. You, you keep drawing until you get a sense for what you like in terms of proportion. For example, some people really like short stacks. Some people really like tall, thin characters. Their proportions are very different, but they're still anatomically correct. So it's a matter of practicing it until you get the proportions that you want and are comfortable drawing. Gamer, I finally have a question. Line art, finding the right line and trying shading the way were things I picked up from the stream so far. Anything else an amateur artist should know about improving their line art? You can up the stabilization of your pen. That might help a little bit. Um, I don't do that because I like the, the scratchiness and the quick quickness of the pen. But in terms of line art, don't rush. <laughs> That's about all I got. It, it takes time. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't worry. Just make sure you keep your rough and line art layers separate. Don't draw on the same one. That sucks. Night, DJ Phil. Get some sleep. Martian, hey! Certain brushes work on either bigger and smaller canvases too. Yes, exactly! It is also a matter of like how big the canvas is. What brush are you using? I'm just trying to catch up. Sky, I mean, both of you used the good one. Thank you, Sky, for showing no boon better for me. 
What do you think about using Chromebook? I've never used Chromebook. So I have no idea. Only three months from paper to digital? That's amazing. It took me three years. To, yeah, it's different for everybody. Uh, to be fair, it was not good when I first did it. My lines were really bad. Hence why I say be very kind to yourself in terms of line art. Because that took me... Yeah, that took me two years. To, to actually get used to drawing digitally, not clean, three months. But yeah, drawing clean lines sucks. <laughs> I'm not amazing at it. New artist here, any advice on drawing head shapes? Uh, real quickly. Blah. Head shapes. Actually, I did a whole session. If you, there's an Art 101 VOD on how to draw head shapes and anatomy for it. So check it out on the VOD channel. Any tips for someone new to digital art trying to render? Don't. That's, it sounds harsh, so hear me out, sorry. Um, if you are new to digital art, I would not recommend going directly into rendering. It is beautiful and it is gorgeous. There's nothing wrong with learning it, but do not focus solely on rendering. You will have a much better time focusing on anatomy, proportion and expression, and then learning to render from there. Because if you just go rendering, your face, it's funny because when you when you start a rough and then go directly to rendering without doing an anatomy or a line art pass, the features will get very wonky very quickly. And you, you'll notice it. Everything will start to look really anatomically wiggly and wobbly. Hey, Alex, I am just doing some feedback. And right now we're in a Q&A section. And I have it. Oh, dingus, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Uh, new artist here. Any advice on drawing head shapes? Yeah, sorry. Art bot. What advice do you have for people who want to start, try drawing? Draw and draw things you like. Just start. Start on paper if you must. It is a... If you must. No, start on paper. It's great. Uh, don't be afraid. <laughs> You're, in terms, if you are brand new to art, jumping into the world of art, you are a baby, and that's good. Because a baby just starting to draw is not something you should be critical of. If a little toddler started to draw with crayons, just having a good time, would you maybe mean to them and go like, oh, your anatomy's wrong, or oh, you didn't draw the, the head shape correctly. No, they're still learning, they're having fun. Just gotta keep that for yourself. Be kind to yourself. Don't compare yourself to others. You're just starting, but go ahead, draw. Mortis, you're amazing. Been watching you for a while, and my ah! Tia, you, God, you did that. <laughs> but thank you, Mortis. Ooh. I'm almost caught up with chat. Kemba, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh gosh, Dingus, thank you for the hundred shinies. In case people want to bully Honey a little caught. Sally Subair, thank you for the hundred shades. <laughs> thank you very much. Red Seal, thanks for the posture check. And Shabbat, thank you for the pre- I was stretching. Uh. Alright. Super Sadger. I am awful with anything cartoonish. I seem to do my best when I have visual aid and reference, but anything I imagine in my head is awful. That's okay. It's really difficult. Don't be harsh on yourself for that. Hey, Minnesota. Hope you're doing well. It's been a bit, yeah. Alright. You think a bigger tablet would help with drawing? Because I'm working with a cheap 8 inch and I'm looking to upgrade. Drawing on a larger canvas, um, personally, I have only drawn with large canvases, so that's... I am biased. I recommend it if you can afford it and you know you are going to consistently use it. Because in order to avoid getting carpal tunnel, you need to make sure you use the full range of your arm. So like your shoulder, elbow, and wrist. Not just pivoting at your elbow and wrist. That's a good way to get carpal tunnel. You don't want that. 
So a bigger canvas means longer and bigger strokes. And so that's why I like it. Oh, you actually give out homework? Where can I find that? Don't want to let my grade drop. I usually give them at the end of my Art 101 VODs. Might seem an odd question, but any advice for refocusing your creative energy toward art? I ask even though I really want to draw, I did a little bit tonight. My brain keeps wanting me to pick up the guitar. Sometimes, uh, your brain just wants to do what it do. I think, uh, if your brain just really wants to play music, that's totally fine. But if you do want to refocus towards art, Raven Von Bloodmere, thank you for the raid! Welcome, raiders! Sorry, I'm catching up with Jab, what's sec! Uh, and Diode Destroyer, thank you for the 500 shinies! Meta, thank you for the ear wiggles. <laughs> but if you want to refocus your energy towards art, I would recommend drawing something small. Very small. Something that only takes you about five minutes. Like a little, little, like a little chibi cat. Or a tiny little frog. I like to draw frogs whenever I just want to do doodles. They're fun to me. But just something small. Because that way your brain doesn't go, Oh, I'm being torn away from music to focus my energy into this piece that I don't feel like doing right now. Instead, it's like, no, nah, brain, we're just gonna take like a quick five minutes break. And then you draw. And then your brain slowly learns like, oh, this actually isn't bad. I'm not getting torn away from something I enjoy to, do, to try to enjoy something else. This is a small little side step in my creative energy. That's what I do. Don't know if it'll work for you. You can try. And Dingus, thank you for the gifted sub to Joel. <laughs> thank you very much. I, I've, oh gosh. All right, I gotta catch up with chat. I'm so sorry if I missed your your, <laughs> missed your questions. Hi, Joel, how are you doing? I saw you were doing some uh, potential new outfits. I do like the pirate one. <laughs> Big love. Ah! But yeah, I like the pirate. I, I'm biased. I, I like soft, frilly white shirts. They're really nice. Anyways, what did you before? Yeah, the pirate one. <laughs> But yeah, y'all were just vibing? Nice, that's good. I hope you're having a good Monday. It's the start of the week, baby. Let's go. Oh, stretch my back real quick. <laughs> Look, very good advice. Thank you, I'm glad. I'm so sorry if I missed your questions. Uh, I will do my best to answer them. We're almost getting back to the, the feedback portion, so get there in a bit. Also, Pretzel, thank you for the hydrate. Yes, I'm so thirsty. Where I can drink water. I can drink. I can totally drink. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah! Cam, thank you for the gifted sub. You kept the hype dream. Yeah. Morse real, thank you for the gifted sub. Oh, water went up my nose. Oh! Oh! I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Ooh. It's all good. Ah, uh, not snoot water. Yeah, it hurt. Oh, uh, it doesn't feel good. It's like stuck in the back of my throat, but it's water. It should be going down. Anyways, controlled not one dexterity. <laughs> I did a survival check and failed horrifically. Skill issue. <laughs> Literally, though, blood ass. Actually, this guy, Honey Goblin, professional artist and rigger, garbage water drinker. <laughs> One day, one day, I'll be just sipping water like a normal person. Why are my dreams so simple? <laughs> oh, I don't want to choke on water. At least you don't need to drink water to live. Wait. Wait a hot second. One second. All right, I'm just gonna quickly scan, make sure I didn't miss any important questions. How do you deal with motivation in general? I'm a little addicted to art. 
so not that much of a problem. I do get burnt out occasionally, though. Burnout sucks. Can't force it. A lot of the times, you just gotta take a break from art. Sometimes it takes about two weeks. Dingus, sorry, you're just so fun to mess with. Can't help myself. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. 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 I see how it is. <laughs> Excuse me. Sunshine, I don't think I've been able to catch a stream of yours before, but it's always nice seeing people encouraging others to pick up drawing. Yeah! It's also not for everybody. Like, don't feel bad if you if you just want to hang out and don't feel like drawing. I'm not going to force you. Ghosts and honey goblins. This sounds like a fun game title. Ooh, it does. <sighs> Thought goblins lived off gold. Nothing lives off gold, except maybe dragons. I need to eat. I need to eat and drink things. Whew. All right. I think that's enough for Q&A time. Let's go back to the feedback. Back to the feedback. Okay, so. Excuse me. Too late. I've been forced to draw against my will by an internet goblin. Ha <laughs> ha. It's working. It's working. Oh no. It has begun, Alabaster. Good luck escaping it now. Gold's edible if you're brave enough. I mean, gold... Have you not seen, like, gold on fancy pastries? Gold's edible. I just... It got no taste. Alright, so... I just started drawing a little over two weeks ago. And I did the homework for this week. I'll be going back over the VODs and doing the exercise as well. I think the feedback I would like is, what are some good guidelines for ears? Oh, okay. See a lot of what I need to work on and practice repeatedly, but I don't just don't get ears. Suppose it's also a good time to ask how to best figure out proportions. Like, I feel some of my proportions are off. Okay, cool. I can do a red line. Ah. Mes Master of none. Thank you for the resub. Happy two months to you. Thanks for all the lessons and advice. Going to be treating myself like a baby more often. Yeah, do it. Be, be nice to yourself. I'm glad people are taking that specific advice into account because, like, that was the one thing I was like, you're... You're a baby. You're learning a new skill. Be nice. You're, you're a baby. You're a baby. You're learning. Don't be mean to babies. I'm glad that point came across really well. <laughs> and Cam, thank you for the two gifted subs. <laughs> thank you, Cam. Art Sci-Fi, can I send something to be feedbacked? Yes. Ask specifically what feedback you want in the Discord in the Art Feedback channel. Plugbear, thank you for the gifted sub to Shiki. <laughs> Let's see. I'd like to create a goblin similar to yours. Love design, looks very cute. Thank you. I'm not the only goblin, so there's there's plenty. So you can you can see what kind of goblins there are, and you can choose to make your own unique goblin if you'd like. Alright, so let's go over the ears first. So ears, I uh, went over this for the goblin head, but similarly to, to human ears. The ears are in between the nose and the eyes. So, if you were to place the ears... You got the right idea, actually. Your ear placement is good. Yeah. They're good. What I would work on, however, is it looks like you didn't draw the structure underneath the head. So I would recommend, before even thinking about proportion, because your proportions aren't actually- they're, they're good. I would just recommend drawing the head structure underneath because it can really help to solidify your art. Even if it doesn't look as clean on paper, it helps so much to maintain structure and anatomy as well as maintain volumes when you stretch and squash your character. Cam, thank you for the reminder. I, I actually got really distracted. That is my bad. Let me just finish doing this one and then I'll do a song. Thank you so much. So sorry lost in the art sauce but yeah these are good expressions honestly you have a good idea you you're good with the eyebrows these are very readable as like smug kind of crying i think i would push this a little bit like this angry very good quizzical maybe and then i think sleeping or lamenting yeah you've got good expressions and You've got a good idea of how to do, 
to convey emotions, I would just recommend practicing having anatomy underneath the heads. Chamber Wolf, such a wholesome stream like a goblin Bob Ross. Thank you. I've people I, I've heard people say that, and I'm still kind of amazed, quite honestly. Bob Ross is really cool. He teaches a lot of really cool stuff. I'm I'm no good with physical mediums. I'm more of a digital artist. Let me do a quick. So Meta, thank you for the earwickles. I think I missed that. <laughs> All right, Sir so Dylanoche, thank you for waiting so so long. I do apologize for that. That is my bad. Let me go. Ah. That's not what I meant to do. Mm -hmm. We got the song. Yes, I absolutely did plug there. You are very correct. I I forgot it. Ooh. All right, we're gonna pod the music. I'm gonna sing a song that I haven't sung in a little bit. It's a Steven Universe song because why not, you know? All right, there we go. Perfect, okay. Let me get a little closer. Oh gosh, do not, please. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, guy. Also, thank you for the level three hype train. Very much appreciated. You don't have to do that. This is like a free lesson. You could just vibe if you want. Whew. All right. All right. It all became so lovely. Those bluest skies above me. Those funny feelings I had never felt before I met you. Thought I'd stay a while. I tried to learn to smile. So many colors I had never even known Maybe I'll find myself sitting on that distant shore Maybe I'm not alone Then I see the colors fading Gentleness of light escaping Shadows of my fear invading Have I seen it all before? I know That there's something residing A terror deep inside me I couldn't understand how you could be so bold Maybe I'll find myself smiling on that distant shore. Maybe I'm not alone. So sorry for making you wait for that, Sir Delanoche. I I really appreciate your patience. My bad. I got very caught up in answering questions. Six dingus! Back to art. We're back, baby! Let's go! You have 90k followers, you're definitely not alone. Jeez! I keep forgetting about that! <clears throat> That's so much! That's a lot! <sighs> Oh, 
Silver Bird. Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. That is a lot. That is a lot. That's... That's a... That's like a hundred... That's like a hundred cookies. Yeah, nope, that's... That's not it. That's not math. That's a lot. Thank you very, very much. Look at all of that bread. <laughs> you want the cookies? I haven't feel... I haven't really wanted to eat cookies lately. Cove and I got some cookies the other day, and she... she did, oh... They were delicious. They were like creme brulee cookies. They were so good. And now I can't find them. But that's okay. Maybe I'll go to look for them again. Oh, cookies are so good. Then again, I've, got, I've gotten into eating marshmallows lately. Marshmallows. Also very, very good. Miss Honey, my human ain't my homework. What do I do? Get a new human. <laughs> Get a new one. This one broken. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's a mean joke to make, actually. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dagon, your VTuber is one of the best ones I've ever seen, so well done. I love it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really worth the wait. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Sir Della Noche. I really, I, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate how, how patient y'all are when I forget things like that. And also how very, like, y'all are very polite when you remind me, so I do really appreciate that. So thank you very much. Bam, 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 bam. 100 insomnia cookies, maybe. <laughs> Co-found the cream, cream boulet cookies. <laughs> They're so good! They're all gone, though. There were that many to begin with, but now I'm thinking about them more. These make me snort out loud. <laughs> I, I'm glad I could make you laugh. I don't particularly find myself funny, but I'm glad some people do. Whatever my sense of humor is. Alright, so. Next step. So, hold on, I... Hi, I'm usually pretty nervous and anxious first, being in new discords and such, but been getting better at it. Thought I'd give the homework assignment a try for the five expressions. Great idea! I think at some point I kind of forgot to exaggerate the squash and stretch more, but overall it was fun, and made my uh, me stretch my drawing muscle some more. Haven't really been posting art of any kind, of construction, constructive criticism in such a long while, but I think I'm ready to be open to it these days. Just not exactly sure what I should ask for at this point. It's been years. I suppose I'm open to any sorts of thoughts, even though the focus is on the expressions drawn, line work, stuff, color of choice. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Cause like these are really good. I really like these. They're very expressive. Like anger, tired, maybe like shocked or confused, sad, happy. I really like these. This has been more fun than I thought it would be and great practice. Excellent. I'm so glad. Like, yeah, like, these are really good. I think, let's see, because you have, you have, whoop, wrong thing, wrong layer. You have a very, very good sense of making the lines push how the character is feeling. Like, this looks excellent. Even though the character has bags, you can, you can feel that they have a lot of, a long range of emotion, long range, a large range of emotions, despite just being tired. It's really cool. Permanent blue coast from Pac-Man? Perhaps. Let's see. I think for this one, I might push the eyes a little bit closer because they, they are, f see this is, this is a good example of how to pr correctly or properly break the three eye rule. Normally, eyes are about you like three eyes length. So there is a eye in between the two. This is actually a design that could very easily and properly break it. So I would push these eyes a little closer together for this. Great, great expressive eyebrows. I like this a lot. These are good expressions. Very nice. If you wanted to make this even sadder or droopier, you could even lower the mouth even more. But then again, it also looks really good up here. Depends on what you like. Let's see, this is a very good idea. This is a very good example of like stretching. His mouth is down down here, as well as the eyebrows and the eyes have stretched to help the face uh, better emote. It's great. You made a wide stitched mouth face. <laughs> Did I? Or are you talking about the art? Brooke. 
I've never drawn anything in my life, but I'm loving the stream. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad that even if you don't do art or you don't feel like you want to get into drawing, that you're still enjoying just vibing. By the way, the big one there is Roblox and Angry Birds 2, like at the tablet. Let's see. I think of what other... Because this is very good. I can't really think of any other... Like, the only thing I could think of potentially... Because even your hands are good. Like, they're... They're they're their own style and they're very nice. I might... Hmm. No, even the art positions are good. Like, you have a good sense of anatomy. The, the character's silhouettes help to push what expressions they're feeling. This is great. Great job. Yeah, I'd honestly just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, focus expressions drawn, work stuff, line work stuff, color choice. I mean, this still looks rough, so I wouldn't worry about the line art unless you were cleaning up and it was wonky, but even then, like, look at that. Like, you got the hair helping with the expressions more. Six up a little bit. Really droops down when he's sad and is a little... Like, like you, you got it. This is great. You made it... Oh, and the eye diagram. Ah, yes. Art's something I like to do, so I might stay a while. Ah, have fun, Freddy Gamer. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Gamer, I'm gonna be honest, this is a bit of confidence boost for me, and honored at the words given here. My struggle has always been self sorry, <laughs> self-loving, so thank you very much. Not just for me, but for sharing what you know with others. No worries, I'll just share what I got. It's not gonna be the perfect advice, but hopefully it, it helps a little bit. But yeah, I love this. This is a good character. <laughs> And it's very good expressions. Good job. Let's see. Next up. Alright. Even though I posted this a month ago, it's only the only piece of art I've done as of late. So I want to know how I can improve on it so that I can apply it in future art. Also, I think it made the arms a bit too long. Yeah, no. Let me check this out. So, indeed, the arms are a little bit long. However, that's okay. Drawing sh my proportions are, are a little difficult. Um... So, when you are usually learning how to draw characters, at least in art school, usually the first kind of anatomy you learn to draw is human-esque anatomy. So, like, the average height is usually, like, 5'5 five, five to 6 feet tall for your models. So, no worries if you're having a little hard time drawing goblins and short stacks. So that, that just happens. So, this looks good. Like... Honestly, the only thing I can think of is like, yeah, the arms are a bit long, but that's okay. It's a matter of like, this is a straight on, so it's good. Like this hand is good. I worry that some people are like, yeah, I want, I want feedback that'll help with everything. And I'm like, sometimes it's just a matter of practicing. Cause like this person very clearly has a grasp on character. Like they, they have ideas. I can see the thought work behind it and it's very good. I would recommend practicing drawing uh, human proportions just so you can get used to what they look like. I I'm drawing a femme character just because that's what my brain goes to. Usually the rule for arms is the elbows are at about the base of the rib cage, and then hands. And the hands usually reach halfway down the thighs. Like if you stand up straight, and reach your hands down, relax shoulders, the tips of your fingers will usually hit the halfway point of your thighs. That's just a fun little body proportion hack. However, if you like drawing characters with, with really, really pushed large limbs, that's totally fine. You don't got to follow the rules of proportion there. That's how you can get some really cool character designs. Like, uh, like look at Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Everyone's got, oh, not everyone. The dad character has just like, small body but long large arms and it works it looks really cool so yeah i would recommend if you're just getting into it or learning uh some anatomy and learning some anatomy sorry that's not quite the right way of saying it Try practicing uh drawing the boxes and circles within the skeleton and just pose around with that you know take it easy don't rush it reference skeletons and pictures of humans it's very handy to learn, but like, as this is, I really like this. It's very good. Like this is, I have to say, this is probably what I was drawing when I was... Tw 
12? No, later than that, actually, like 14. This is what I was drawing and I was 14. And that took me maybe five-ish years of learning. So like, that's nothing to sneeze at. That's good. Hi, Holiday. We're doing pretty good, whoops. We're just going over people's homework right now. All right, oh, we're, we got a bunch more, don't worry. Ah, this one. This, I really like too. This is very fun. Learning to draw is certainly a journey, a never ending one with that, uh, at that, yes. I thought I was good and I was done learning and then I redrew a picture just like for my own personal time for warm up. I redrew a picture of an old character I used to have. And you don't realize how your art style changes and improves until you redraw something like that. Also, Joe comment, don't worry, that's okay. You're not late for art class, it's okay. Amaya, I've been watching this and I love seeing the kind of critiquing of others' artwork. I need to get back into art myself, and I know whenever I draw tired, I always do one eye closed and the other has half opened with the eyebrow raised. Like, like the eyebrow is what's holding the eyelids open. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I like that. That's not a bad way of drawing uh, tired eyes. Dude, I rolled over my, my headphones. <laughs> Just stretching my back real quick. Uh. Uh. <sighs> Brain. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Redraw old art? That's illegal. That's against the law. I'm calling the police. Nah, do it. <laughs> do it. But yeah, I apologize for the late submission of my homework. Don't worry, not late. There's no curriculum. I would like to know how to push my expressions. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for asking for specific feedback. Uh, looking at the faces I finished, no matter if I use reference, it still makes me feel like I could somehow improve them. That's not just you. That's a lot of people. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're in your improvement phase. You're in your, your growth arc. I understand how to emote the eyes to some extent, but I'm super struggling with the mouth and looking forward to the stream with that. All right, cool. So let's go over. I'm just going to do some... Ooh, that's too bright. My sensitive eyes. All right. They're pretty good. Yeah. All right. We have happy, sad, surprised, angry, flirty, or sassy. Either one. Wow, I would like to show my stuff to the most recent, uh, but the most recent stuff is just background art with a character being about two years ago. That's all right. Background art's really good. I, I'm. It's not my area of expertise, but I do like background art. See. You're pushing your expressions. I like how you're using the ears. It's very, very good. Let's see. So for pushing, let's see. So whenever I want to push expressions, typically this is what I would do. I don't know if it's within your style or not, but that is up to you. Cat, I should have kept my old art books. It's really handy to keep your old art books. You get to feel good when you look back and go, hey. I'm actually doing great. Jabber Wolf, thank you for the hydrate. I just realized I'm out of water because I choked on it. All right, I'll do this and then I'll hydrate. All right, so if you want a happier smile, sometimes opening it wider can really help. And as well as the eyes. And pushing the eyebrows can sometimes help, too. That's a more excited. I don't know if that's exactly what the expression you're going for, but this is how to push it that way. If you want to, you can also bring the ears up even more. So for surprise or like an awe, what you can do if you want to is squash or stretch the head, meaning that the jaw can be stretched down like this a little bit. Turn this a bit more so you can kind of see more what I mean. And then you can make these eyes really wide if you want to, like really push them. Like alien-esque. <laughs> Just sparkles. I 
character's design. It's very cute. The silhouette's very strong. Good job. I saw it for a peacock. I hope you're doing well too. And I'm glad you feel like you're learning here. Let's see, for sad. If you want to, you can push the ears down. Because with sad, a lot of the times it's droopy. So you can push the eyebrows. So the eyebrows have fairly limited amount of motion if you look at your own face in a mirror. But you get you can push it really, really far. So you can push it all the way down here to help sell this. As well as if you want it to be sad, you can either bring the mouth down, or if you want it cute sad, bring the mouth up. Get a little cute pout. <laughs> See. Flirty? So for fun, fun thing you can do for like flirty and smug faces. I love to do this. This is like one of my signature signature. My go-to faces is I like asymmetry in smug faces. So you can have like a regular smile and then it goes higher on one side. That's what I really like to do for asymmetrical faces. Or not asymmetrical faces, for smug. Same thing with the eyebrows. Making them follow the, the one-line rule. Excuse me, the one-line rule. That can really help to push it a little bit. In my case, I look back at my old sketchbooks and wonder, one, what the hell was I smoking? Two, why can't I draw this well anymore? So that that is actually something that happens sometimes. Cool, Annette, thank you for the breathe. What's the one line rule for uh, eyebrows? So for eyebrows, you want them, not always, but you kind of want them to be a mono brow. So think of it this way. For a happy face, if their brow is like this, you want it to follow that arc. So the circles will follow that arc to extra express, surprise, or um, even this for sadness, or like that for smugness, You because the muscles are kind of connected in like in between your eyebrows. So it makes sense that they would contour with each other, if that makes sense. Kind of imagine it like a uh, like a Mr. Incredibles mask. The the muscles around your eyes that attach to your eyebrows are move very much like the mask. What would be an example of the eyebrow not following the one line rule? So a lot of the times uh, if someone is let's see say a lot of the times a lot now that I realize it. Let's draw, I think, confused? Maybe not confused, but shocked. An example would be when you want to make someone's face look very asymmetrical or weird. There's not a whole lot of times, because even this can be considered doing that. Let's see. This is still following the one-line rule, but this is to make it, like, Flat. I guess it'd be like... Disappointed, maybe? <laughs> it's kind of the ones I could think of. Hmm, let's see. I got now an idea what you deleted, but it was something. I have no idea what that means. Hi Grim, how's it going? But yeah, right. I was talking about uh, keeping old sketchbooks. So I find that uh, despite me knowing more about anatomy, rendering, line art, and posing, the ideas I had back when I was a kid, and even an art student, um, it seems like I had more ideas back then. And I don't know if that's exactly right to say, but I understand how you feel. I think sometimes in worrying about whether a pose or a character looks correct, you can sometimes lose a little bit of the childlike wonder in a story or design. It's hard to balance, and it comes and goes. It's not gone forever. It just takes a little bit of practice to get back. Are the rules in your Discord and I don't have the password? Yeah, you gotta read it a couple times. It's it's a comprehension test. Alright, let's do the anger. So if you wanna push anger, great great job adding 
these and pushing the features. So the one thing I would say for these is a lot of the times your character has upward up cheeks here. I would actually try to mix it up a little bit and try to make sure the cheeks aren't always or the, the eyes aren't always this shape. Try to mix it up sometimes like this. It's just the curves at the bottom. Because you can have very different expressions with this. This also, I can't tell if it's evil or good, but that is up to you. I think if you want it to be angry, I would widen the mouth a little bit. But good job scrunching. That's very good. I would even push this a little further down or a little further up. It is up to you. But aside from this, this is a very nice character design. I like your expressions. They are very good. Like, and the character is very likable. So, good job. But yeah, pushing expressions is sometimes treating your character like rubber, as rubbery as you can possibly make them, and then toning it back a little bit so it's on model, if that makes sense. It can be folded back like that. Ooh, true. The ears can be folded back like a cat. All right. I will return in just a moment. Uh, I won't even go to BRB. I'll just turn off B2 Studio real quick. I'm just grabbing water. Alrighty. Be right back. I read the word riot. What was that? What was that, Dingus? Huh? Starting some in my classroom? Right, well, I'm just gonna grab a drink and I got myself a cookie because I've been such a good professor. And now that you do this for me, <laughs> you do this as soon as I leave the room. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Got my eye on you. <laughs> nothing happened, nothing happened. Okay. Sure. For sure. Alright, just make sure I didn't miss anything. Guy, looks like it's my stream now. You had a full 20 seconds. Alright, thank you for the hydrate. Let me do that. Thank you, Chamberwolf. I got myself a cookie. Ah. <laughs> There's no attempt at rebellion, man. All right, Krennic of Innocence, I trust you. You've been a good being, I trust you, word. You wouldn't lie to me. All right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least we didn't steal the test answers. An art test. You think we steal answers for that? Art subjective, baby, and I am the judge. You see, always been good. Okay, yeah, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one, buddy. Bullock, thank you for the sub. Welcome into the tavern. I hope you're doing good. Kind of cookie? I think it's a butter cookie. They're real good. <laughs> Merlin! Oh yeah, it's your old Okay, so I don't have to hide it. <laughs> Simple emotions for homework. Probably should have done better angles though. Might try to get a better version up in time for the stream or something. I didn't have time to grab it because I had tech issues. But, in terms of expressions, they're easy to read. Angry, maybe like flustered, tired. Stare, and 
at. All right, these are really good. Like I can pretty clearly tell what all these are. I like how you use a mix of um, like you use mostly like anime style. I like that. I was very influenced by anime, so it's nice to see it again. <laughs> Nico, I couldn't do a riot. I'm busy preparing things in the teacher's room. I have a handful of gremlins I gotta watch over, apparently. All right, but let's do a quick uh, review. This is very good. I like this. Very nice, very nice. If you want to push it, you can make the eyes droopier. I might add eyebrows to this. Just to help push the expression a little bit. This is good. This is just smug cat. I like it. This is very good. I really like this. Anger? Very good. Not like disgustingly violent anger, just like fuming. Very nice. If I could suggest something? Uh, if you'd like to, you don't have to do this. I would recommend trying to put ears on it. Because putting an ear on your character helps your brain to go, oh, okay. Sometimes this needs a little bit more anatomy or shape. If you'd like to, what you can do is you can practice doing the, you know, the head shapes. Especially since these look like digital drawings. You can totally try to do the, the head shapes exercises. Which is just drawing heads at different angles, like this. Aside from that, these are great. Very readable, very nice. I like them. I'll add eyebrows. <laughs> Night, local insurgent. Tiger Fox Boy. Fun question. Would you rather fight a bear sized bee or a bee sized bear? What? A bee sized bear? Because then if I win, I have a tiny little pet bear. All right, we got about four more. Let's go. All right, this one's good. Here's my homework. Seven expressions of my OCT on it. Sorry, it's a bit late. Don't worry about it, it's all good. One thing I would like to work on is consistency when drawing my characters repeatedly, because I feel like I'm still not quite there with it and they look inconsistent in some areas. Also want to rework her hairstyle to make it easier to draw at all angles. Okay. I guess you got the, ooh, geez. <laughs> ooh. Hi, Blamo, what's up? <laughs> Bear size B would be terrifying. It would be absolutely terrifying. You are absolutely right. But like, can you imagine like a little pet sized bear? Like just teeny tiny, I could feed it little bits of salmon. That sounds really cute. Oh. All right. So with this character, these are good. These are really good. I think, random. <laughs> random, thank you for the posture check. And Swiftmade, thank you for the prime. Welcome in! Welcome to the tavern! Hope you're having fun today! Let's see... Okay. I think in terms of consistency, it would be a practice thing. For example... Uh, I'm just gonna turn it down a little. For example, the things that stick out to me when this character in terms of design consistency is the nose. This nose is much sharper than the other noses, which are softer. So, one is not better than the other. It is totally up to you which one you would like. Napalm, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. How are y'all doing? What are y'all up to tonight? Let's see. These are very good expressions, though. We got smug, curious, or confused, or concerned, pleased, neutral, curious again, sort of like worried, angry. Sad or horrified. These are really good. Hmm, let's see. This may be a very harsh answer as well, so I do apologize for this answer. Paldia's on fire. Paldia's on fire? What? Oh, you're playing Pokemon. Gotcha. How was Pokemon? Did you choose Scarlet or Violet? Ironic a name to be raiding with. So this this particular case. I think I would work on neck placement. So if you look at your character, this is close. Normally the neck would be a little bit more 
around here because the neck connects to the base of your head so it's a little further back <laughs> Similar to this, the neck would be further back here. So you can move the, the head and neck forward a little bit. Next, fine here, because you don't really see it. This is fine because it is almost a front view. So the neck would appear in the middle of the head. This is good. Yeah, this neck placement is very good. This one's pretty good as well. I think you can get away with this because it's it's funny. You can get away with a lot if it's funny. Uh, if you wanted to, you can move it back slightly. This is pretty good because it's almost a front view. Like your, your stretch and squash is very good here. These are very good. I think... Again, this, this is probably going to be the most annoying answer that I can give, but it is probably the, the, the truest one, unfortunately. You are already on your way. It's just a matter of continuing to draw this character and get comfortable with them. Consistency comes with a lot of practice and time. And it's it's never really the same. Like your character, the important thing is your character is very recognizable, even if they are slightly off model. They have a very clear silhouette. The hair shape stays consistent. The eyes are in the right place. The nose is also in the right place. Your grasp of proportions very good. You clearly have a good sense of like stretch and squash with this. Like your this face is stretching very well here, as well as squashing when they're smug. This is great. Very good stuff. Very expressive, too. Very nice. Oh yeah, this is an example of uh, the eyebrows not following the, the unibrow rule. They don't- their lines don't lead into each other, but it works. Let us, thank you. Yeah, no worries. But yeah, just neck placement. That comes from reference. But yeah, you're well on your way. You also, like, good on you. It's- although I do not see it, or if you did not draw it, it is clear to me that you have a grasp on the head anatomy. And you either drew it and then drew a cleanup pass, um, or you just naturally have a good sense for it. Both are good, but like anatomy work went into this, so good job. Also, thank you, Sky, for that announcement. It could be a 10k! <gasps> Congratulations, buddy! You did it! Sorry to interrupt your return to lurking. Alright, no worries. No worries, Cove. It's all good. Cove is, uh,. <laughs> Was my roommate and she just hit 10k on Twitter. Let's go, buddy! Congratulations! <laughs> oh, all right, scooching over to the next one. All right, these are fun. Just drew some sketches for expressions from a PNG tuber, also for homework. Gotcha. Excuse me. All right. Please ignore this one. All right, I will. I will say I like it though. <laughs> oh yeah, for expressions, these are good. Like the, the design is very simple, but you clearly have a grasp on it, on on like expression work. Cause yeah, you have the the squashing of the face, as well as the sharpness of the eyes when something is angry or tired. That is excellent. I would try raising the brow a little bit. Because that way you can you can have a wider range of expressions if you just push the brows up or down a little bit, you know? Same thing with this. Put the brows a little bit higher. The fun thing about simple characters is that when they are simpler, you can push everything to the maximum and they don't look that weird. Cuds, thank you for the sub! Welcome in! I hope you're having a lovely Monday evening. Cyber, hey! Stream's going good, just giving feedback today. This is very good. Very good with the tired eyes. If you want, you can push it further, make them a little bit narrower. And that way it'll... Wow. That way it'll push the expression more. But this is good. I like how the body is slightly leaning forward here too. To just like glare forward. It's very nice. Good job. If you want to add a little bit of expression, because your character doesn't have that many expressions such as a mouth, or that many features such as a mouth or ears, what you can do is use the body to emote a lot. For confusion, you can push that. For anger, you have, like, this is leaning forward and glaring. Love it. Tired, you can have the shoulders drooping more, just to express. So whatever the face cannot express, the body will follow up and support. 
So yeah, making the shoulders droop down because they're tired or sh uh, shrug up because they're surprised or keep them square and straight because they're angry and they're trying to intimidate someone. These are great. Good job. Peter Maya, thank you for the ear wiggles. <laughs> oh, I do love this character. This is very good. Homework. But it is the five expressions, so I understand what they're doing here. You ever lit a trash fire with gasoline? I have, and it blew up on me and almost lit myself up. Be careful with that. I, my dad has done that before. Not a trash fire, but specifically gone hog wild with gasoline on the farm. Yeah, the fire crew loved talking to us that day. <laughs> Be careful. Fire dangerous. Cyber, thank you for the gifted sub to Maniac for Bricks. Thank you. I hollow inside. Never drawn anything, but these streams make me want to learn try learning. Oh, thank you, Because If you want to try learning, go on ahead. Relax, take it easy. Do what you feel. Sometimes it'll it's very rewarding. I think it's but it's so fun and so pretty. Oh. Oh, I'm right there with you, buddy. Fire is. Fire something, all right, but gotta be safe with it. All right, so these, wonderful. I love these, very expressive, very good. This sadness, uh, like crying, excellent. Very, very well done. I like how the character's eyes are wide and expressive. That That's maybe a personal bias. This anger, very good. If you want to, you can push the eyebrows even more. That's, yeah, that makes it more angry. You want? Raise the eyebrows even more. Eyebrows? Very expressive. So, use that to your advantage. Let's see. This one? Very nice, very nice. If there's in awe, sometimes having the eyebrows higher. Sometimes having, like, circle eyes really helps, too. That can really help with the focus. These are very good. Very nice. One thing here, just I would be careful of this eye seems a little too big for this side, but that's all right. Yeah, just making it a little bigger will help. But yeah, good job with the asymmetrical eyebrows. If you want, you can make it an asymmetrical smile too. Make it extra mischievous. But yeah, these are great. Like, keep, keep going at it. This is also a case of, like, yeah, you, like, I can see your line work and the anatomy you've put underneath it. You've drawn the headlines. Very, very good. I like it. Uh, <laughs> if you keep going, you're just gonna, you're just gonna keep going straight up. Good practice. Good job. It's a very cute design. Yeah, I really like it. All right, next up. Last one. Got my homework done. May we do it after computer work? Absolutely. If you're feeling it, you can. Randomer, there's some very good art being submitted. This is some great talent out there. Yeah, there's... A lot of people are doing really, really well. And I can see... Some people have been posting a lot for the past, like, year. And I can see the improvement. And it's very fun to see. I like it. Makes me feel very happy. Pyman, thanks for the hydrate. And Scoozy off. Thank you for the resub with Prime. Be six months. That's very kind of you. Welcome back in. Neko, if you keep going, we'll keep going, honey. <laughs> they wrong, but it ain't the most um, eloquent thing I've ever said. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> you like the design? The last one was very cute. I, I do like it. I might just be a sucker for like demon characters, though. All right. This is very good. I like these. They're all straight on. That's good. Not bad. Let's see. These are like, this is like happy to talk to someone, anger, disdain, smugness or confidence, uh, fear. These are good. For this one, I might change the brows a little bit, push them like this. It really emphasizes the lines, but yeah, you very much got the idea there. I don't know if this character has ears. If it does, if they do, I would recommend adding them just for good practice. 
see. Like, you clearly, clearly, like, expressions are there. Like, you understand it. And, like, I can see that you did a little bit of the anatomy underneath, so good job. There's not too much, I would say, for this. I think this is also a case of, like, as you draw more, you will get stronger. Uh, one thing I might recommend for this artist is, in particular, <laughs> Cynics Design, thank you for the raid! Welcome in, raiders! How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. What were y'all up to? Oh, you're doing art as well? Ooh, what were y'all drawing? What were you up to? Raid rise. Which would happen. But yeah, uh, real quick to continue with this. Oh, I've never seen a YouTuber with a hand? It moves around. It draws for me. But yeah, I would recommend uh, for this particular artist, I'd recommend trying drawing in three quarters. You've got pro you've got front view down. I would recommend trying to draw in three quarter angle for your character. That'll be a good way to get the anatomy down and learn. Give it a shot. I think you'll, uh, I think you'll, you might ha have a rough time with it, but it'll be really good. Phoenix just drawing British people. Got a rumba, have a great night. Thank you so much for sharing your community. Get some rest. Yeah, get some food in you, and thank you very much. British people. Don't British people just look like normal people? Or we thought we're talking like revolutionary times or the outfits or styles. Ooh, that is bright on my eyeballs. Let me fix that real quick. There we go. Oh, so much better. So much better for my poor little eyes. But, welcome in, raiders. It's a pleasure to meet all y'all. My name's Honey. I'm a goblin. And we're just doing art right now. We have just been giving feedback to people who have been in the Discord and submitting their homework and art. Just getting a little bit of anatomy and art suggestions in terms of where they want to progress and which way they want to go and with for their art skills, you know? Whew. I'm gonna uh, stretch a little bit. Ooh. Uh. Oops, I recently drew a gen general diagram of an orc armored vehicle and it was really fun to draw. That is awesome. That's really cool. I'm glad you had fun drawing that. <laughs> YouTuber's fantastic. Thank you, Nonsense. Thank you. Ooh. Get those good pops. Yeah. Get them all out. Gotta get them out of my system. <laughs> it's fun. Blood ass. Just wanted to throw this out for everyone. If you guys want to see the most amazing expression art, go check out Randowis. This stuff is amazing and drop dead funny. Ooh. I do like seeing expressive artists. I'm a big fan. Also, thank you, Paper Cuts. Nickel Q Pop. Let me see if I can do another one. Let me just. <laughs> We've gotten to the end of the review night, so now we're just gonna do cooldown drawings. <laughs> Sorry, that was the last one. We're good. We're good. Thank you, Papa T. I'm glad you like it. I made it myself. Alrighty. Let's do a little bit of art to cool down. Maybe I should draw a frog. <laughs> Exit. Sucks I won't be able to join the Discord because I still haven't figured out the password, but I'll keep trying. No worries. Sometimes it takes a little break, like a little bit of time. But yeah, sorry, I, I can't give the password even if I do, like no matter what, because there's a lot of rules that need to be read and I got to make sure everyone understands them and reads them multiple times. Let me draw a little frog. Y'all have been good students today. <laughs> have a little frog. Also, Taller Shadow, thank you for the resub. Happy 11 months. Welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> thank you, Jedi. This is very kind. See how he pops and locks against his wheels. Truly, I am a formidable foe. Man, I could never pop and lock. I am too self-conscious. Frog. I'll give him a little smile. I like cooldown art. I don't have to worry about it being perfect. I can just let it be, you know? 
Why shouldn't I just draw a frog? Sitting on a lily pad. Having fun. Relaxing. Maybe with a little hat on him. <laughs> He's so cute. Yes. His name is George. And I love him. <laughs> he needs abs? Absolutely. You know what? You're right. There we go. He got abs now. Why do I feel like he should have like a skateboard with him? Teamic. Love our streams like this. Not a visual artist myself, but it still inspires me to practice my own craft and music. That's awesome. That's really cool. I know nothing about music. But it always seems to intrigue me, even if even if I don't understand it. I like to hear people who do understand it talk about it. They're so passionate. Makes me happy. Maybe I should put a little like a uh, little blush. He's cute. He's nervous. He's like more like a sports ball frog than a skateboard. Sports. 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 <laughs> sports ball. George is a radical frog. Indeed he is. I think he's pretty cool. Draw a little bit of water. He's a cool dude. And I think he deserves to be happy. Gary does a cool frog. <gasps> Why, thank you, Gary. I'm glad you think so. I think he's a pretty cool dude, too. Hello. <laughs> he's jacked. Look at those abs. Look at those abs. Who would want to fight George? He's a wonderful fella. He's so kind. Why would you want to fight him? Look at that face. Would that face do crimes? I don't think so. I think I would trust George. I would give him my wallet and ask him to buy me ice cream. Alright, let's see. Let's draw... I want to draw a cat. This is just cooldown art. <laughs> it's important to do cooldown art. I love drawing, like, the cir the half-circle cats. They're so much fun. Redseal, thank you for the breather redeem. Phew. Be able to give my comic co cover a critique? Not on stream. I'm not pulling any more uh, things on stream. I might give it a look in uh, the actual Discord, but for now, it is time to cool down. It's time to wind down and take it easy. Kitty. <laughs> looks like a mouse, actually. Why does he look like a mouse? Is this more cat? Yeah, that's more cat. It's just in the mouth. I would fight for George, as would I. Can you do an angry face? I'm curious what it looks like. Just with my model? Just, let me see, I have a toggle for it, too. It's like... I think that's what angry looks like, right? That's pretty angry. Not particularly... I'm not a particularly angry person, so... That toggle doesn't come in use very much. Cat Jam! I'm new here, what is cooldown art? So cooldown art is usually what a lot of artists do to... relax their brain and sort of decompress and loosen their arm after a day of drawing. Because if you just draw and then stop, sometimes your brain won't let you do that. Some people do it for the physicality. I do it for my brain because otherwise my brain will not silence itself and I will be up until midnight drawing. I have no idea. I don't know what I'll be drawing. And that's why I do cooldown art, so I never have to find out. Apparently, Angry is also cute. <laughs> no. No, it's not. I could be angry. That's angry, right? Right? See, I looked angry for a sec. And Croc Talk, thank you for the resub. Happy 10 months. Thank you for being awesome and sharing your art. No worries. Thank you for. I, I guess appreciating it? <laughs> it's very kind of you. I'm glad y'all do. Oh, giggles at her own kitty drawing. If you can't make yourself laugh. 
with your own little silly little fella drawings, then what's the point? George needs a belt? No, but then it would cover his abs. Glorious frog abs. You weren't angry, you were angry. <laughs> I can be angry! I can be angry! That's angry, right? Right? Shh. I'm gonna stop being angry now. I'm gonna stop being angry, actually. Actually, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Not happening. A few moments <laughs> later. I'm gonna draw a dog. Puppy. I'm gonna give him floppy ears. <laughs> you round like friend. He's gonna be laying down, cause it's bedtime. And he's gonna rest. It's a little fella. How oh, did teacher is super adorable? <laughs> so angry, very mad. Oh no! Oh no! All right. Ah. Bedtime borker? Yeah. Math class still. Okay, literally, when I was in math class, I will show y'all what I drew. I just drew anime eyes constantly. All the way up until adulthood, I would just draw anime eyes on the side of my math homework. And this is what it would look like. Just this. And then sometimes I get, well, I would read Bleach and go like, ah, yes, the diamond eyes, let's go. Or I'd read a, uh, shoot, what is it called? I think it was K Kakashi or Kakaishi. Something like that. Yeah. Anyways, I just draw that. Typically accurate math homework. It is it was watching me constantly. <sighs> the eye, not the face or two. The the eye. It was I would literally just draw eyes. I wouldn't even put faces to them. Sometimes I like later on I would, but like I would put eyes on everything. And it was a lot of fun. I liked it a lot. Alrighty, real quick. Let's go back to basic. Whoop. I'm fine. I'm right here. <laughs> I didn't misplace myself. Not at all. Oh yeah. Whew. I'm going to... There we go. All right, really quickly, does anyone have any questions? Any questions about the lessons? Or any art questions, generally? I'm kind of just calming down my brain before I get get some rest. I, go, I still have a drawing of Honey that I made in class. Yo, what were you drawing in class? <laughs> Are you so cute? Uh, um, not relevant to the lesson today? Uh, please keep your questions on topic. <laughs> Dude, where's my car? I don't know. Don't worry about it. Maybe it'll show up in a couple days. Don't report it stolen. Is there a tablet that you suggest for beginners? A cheap one. Honestly, a cheap one. One that you don't have to worry about if it breaks. Or if, if you fall out of love with drawing, you don't have to worry about investing too much money into it. That is the best advice I got. How was milk discovered? <sighs> What's the meaning of life? Life's what you make of it. I got what you for you ending? Yes, I am wrapping up. We're just vibing for a little bit, calming down. It was a nice, fun feedback lesson. And then uh, we're gonna relax and get some rest. But first, any questions? Any 
Gayatri, thank you. Any advice when it comes to drawing backs? Reference uh, bodybuilders, if you can, or just regular backs. So I would highly recommend looking at anatomical structures when it comes to back muscles. It's very fascinating. The difficult part about drawing backs is that uh, we have, uh, what are they called? Shoulder blades. They are floating bones and they can be very, very difficult to draw. So I highly recommend either taking pictures of your back for reference or finding stock images of like people working out and doing exercises and of their backs. It's very, very good for ref reference. Is there a schedule for art classes that I keep up? Yes, for the most part, art classes are Monday evenings at 6 p.m. PST or 9 p.m. EST. Those are usually art lessons. That way you have like a full week to do any homework that I assign. Give Kova a hug for me. I will. I will. I'll give her a little congratulation hug. Also, Kuklanish. Kuklanish. <laughs> Thank you for the reset. <laughs> Happy seven months. Oh, welcome back. Huzzah for seven months. Also, I got my commissions. So I'm super happy about it. <gasps> nice. I'm glad. It's always fun when people get their commissions. Not from lesson, but any tips on coming up with color palette for characters? Uh, I would recommend doing a pass with all the colors you think you'd like, and then finding pre-made palettes. There's a lot of really good pre-made palettes uh, online that you can try using. What's a good way to have less shaky lines? Use your full arm when drawing. That means use your shoulder, elbow, and wrist when you start drawing lines. That way you're not just pivoting at the wrist or the elbow. You have to use your shoulder as well. If that doesn't work, then up your stabilization of your digital pen. Any full-size model reel? I mean, I can. Let me let me do that real quick. This is my full-size model. What? There's a lot to it, but I got shorts or a crop top. Wait, this is not this is not a crop top. This is shoulderless. But yeah, got a lot of variations on these. I've also got a... This look. I like this one. This is a fun one. It's been a while since I pulled out the demon model. It's been a little bit. <laughs> Gotta mix it up every once in a while, huh? <laughs> cropped off the top of the top. Yeah, I, I cropped off the top of the top. So here's an art relevant question. How does someone manage to be such a talented illustrator with all their amazing art and be such a cute person? Years of crippling self doubt. It sucks. <laughs> what is love? Baby, don't hurt. Stop it. St song. Goblin Horde collab with every goblin VTuber? Never. Never. Nope. Too much chaos. Would not do it. I was looking for 42, but that works too. I mean, isn't that what 42 is? Wasn't, uh, what's his, what's his name? Wasn't Douglas Adams really into coding? And that number specifically is like what you make of it. Dingus, well, as an artist, you, Honey Cute, ever realize that Honey Cute people might try to slip hidden messages into questions? Mm, halfway through that, I did. All right. What's the most complex drawing you've done? Uh, making a VTuber model. Probably this one. Well, no, the next model. There's just so many pieces. There's so much to put into it, and there's so much planning that goes into it. It's a lot, but worth it. What was it told by an ad not to do taxes? Someone's trying to get your kneecaps broken by the IRS. <laughs> You know, whenever a female rabbit gets so stressed out, they sometimes eat their babies? That's a gross fact, and I did know that, actually. Archers are amazing reference. Ooh, I haven't thought about archers. What color green is your model? I can't find the color to draw you. Good question. I don't actually know colors by their hexadecimal codes, if that's the word for it. You can literally just take a screenshot and color grab. That's probably the best you're going to get. Because that's what I do. Whenever I make a new model, I'm like, what's my old color? Well, I don't remember, so screenshot it. 
Yeah, my colors on my ref sheet, they are broken down in that. So if you want them, they are at the top of my Twitter. Always at the pin post. Is the bell dismisses or the gobar teacher? Harris Frankie, thank you for the Kofi. Thank you very, very much. But you may leave whenever you so choose. You might just miss a little bit of lesson. Not right now, though. We're just vibing. We're just cooling down for the evening. Is there homework today? No, there is no homework today. If you'd like, you can look at the old art VODs and see what homework there was in the past. For the most part, it is practicing hands, doing five expressions for your characters. Um, there is drawing a um, kind of faceless characters in anatomy poses. Try about five of them. And then I believe there is head angles. So practice drawing your character in different head angles. Those were the main pieces of homework, if I remember correctly. If not, there will be more. More will come. Thanks for the vibey stream. It's cool to see Goblin Art, too. Thank you, Ty. Thank you for coming in. Also, Tired Crow, thank you for the prime. That's incredibly nice of you. Thank you very much. You didn't have to do that. Real folks, I resubbed earlier but didn't comment about it. I'm on an eight month streak. Oh, I'm so sorry I missed that. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. Happy eight months. Ah, but I'm glad you like the art. Thank you, please. There's a book Picat call recommended called Stonehouse Anatomy. I think my, my anatomy textbook was The Artist's Atlas of Human Anatomy, I think is what it's called. It's very, very good. I, I, I recommend it if you if you can get it. Ba, 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 ba. Love my sketch, but I hate the line art. Do you have any tips on making the line art better or more sketchy? Find a pen that you like using. I like using the textured pen, uh, but line art, rough. Just generally rough. Takes a long time to get used to, unfortunately. Uh, either practice drawing lines with your full arm or up the stabilization of your brush, it is up to you. Flying goblins invade the world <laughs> unopposed, because who would dare? Who would want to stop it? Why would you want to? Don't you think it'd be fun if we ruled the world a little bit? Just a little? As a treat, maybe? <laughs> uh, any tips for wanting to stream art? Do it. Just have fun. Don't put pressure on yourself to finish a full piece by the end of a stream. That leads to burnout, and it makes you nervous. Just draw what you're feeling in the moment. Also, Varendel! Hello, V. How are you? Thank you for the resub, happy 17 months. And Red Hex, thank you for the 500 jumpies. Me when gyms will... I do not understand what any of those say. Sky, are you practicing Sekiro yet? Oh, uh, very soon. Something else is taking priority right now. I swear, the only games I've actually been playing is like Elden Ring on Fridays. <laughs> That's the only thing I've been playing. Sageling, happy I found your stream. Thanks for sharing your art and knowledge. No worries. Also, Dingus, you definitely got me. I'll concede to that. Old question, but do you burp on command? I do not, actually. I can't. <laughs> my, my mom may raise me. Very strictly with manners, so I can't do it. For someone who's trying to get into concept art as a career, what areas would be best to study? Environmental studies, as well as outfits for characters in different scenarios. Learning how to... Uh, learning how to tell a story through character design, as well as characters' outfits, as well as uh, world design. Perspective. Uh... Don't need too much anatomy. Rendering, lighting, shading, texturing, environmental studies. Concept art is a very, very broad field. There is a lot you can study. Uh, oh yeah, color theory. A lot of color theory. So, good luck. It is very satisfying, but it's a lot of work, so keep that in mind. Also, thank you, Aspo. I'm glad you like my model. Love how mobile your model is and how expressive your ears are. Thank you, Q-Pen. Andrew, I've been wondering about how your glasses don't fall. Magic. A little balance, too. I can always take them off. Sometimes if I, if I feel like it, I can just pop them off. And instead, let's see what else I can put on. It's been a while. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Alright, then. Alright. <laughs> 
<sighs> we have TTS next stream. I will try to get it back next stream. I don't know if I can, but I will give it a shot. <laughs> little demon eye trick. It's fun. Let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, this is a fun one. Just a little... I have a little hand up there. Blama, you want to fight? No, I'd lose. I remember you asked me before. I still don't want to fight. There is Frankie. Hi! I'm a simple old man with an old soul. Went for a walk on Twitch and I stumbled upon a cute goblin. Hope you're having a good day and you continue to educate us. Thank you. No worries. I'm glad you enjoy hanging out and learning something from this. From whatever my ramblings can offer. Dark Solera make my monkey brain go brrrr. Oh, me too. Me too. So thanks for drawing tips. Ah, no worries, Red Hex. Hi, Min. What style of drawing do you like to do? Cartoony? But I also like anime. So whatever style you see currently on your screen like this. Which I think is just like my style. It's a bit of a combo of both. A little more Western, though. Have you tried some of the other open source drawing software like Krita? Nope. I've only used Clip Studio and Photoshop, and that's because uh, I didn't want to use Photoshop anymore. Because I didn't want to pay the fee. How would you recommend someone who can't use their mic to start streaming? I want to stream to motivate me to draw more, but I live with thin walls and other people. You don't have to stream with uh, your voice if you don't want to. You can just stream art. No need to talk if you don't feel like it. Yeah, if you can't use your mic, that's okay. I don't think it's bad if you want to stream with your mic as well, but you can just turn down the gain really, really low so that you really have to speak up to be heard. It is up to you, whatever your comfort level is. I mean, imagine not being able to burp on command. I would. Oh, that's a skill I, I don't know if I want, actually. We need to shout at you how cute you are. Shh, Bessel. Bye. Man, I always miss the good stuff because I pass out after stream. That's fine! Streaming is really tiring. Sometimes you really gotta take a break and breathe. Just like, let it let it out and, and do nothing and veg. That's what I like to do. I'm starting to watch Wednesday with Cove. We really like it. It's weird. It's weird and it's really fun. Please do not attempt to force a burp on stream. I will not. That, that uh, feels like that's a bad idea. You have to learn to breathe with your stomach. That's about it. That sounds... Wild. Breathing with your stomach? Never thought of it like that. Huh. So I'm not gonna do it. No. I can't burp on command. Kidding me? Text speech could also work? True. Lama, you brought Procreate? It's worth it. In yeah, I have an iPad and I've got Procreate too. It's good for when I'm traveling. Oh, Wolf, would you recommend getting one of those wooden pose dolls for reference? I would actually, if you can... Uh, if there's a store, specific, specifically if you find a store that sells mechs or Japanese models, instead of getting a wooden doll, I would recommend getting a posable one that's plastic and has uh, perspective lines on it. I found that's much, much more useful than a wooden doll, because the wooden doll is very limiting. It's, it's not... It's not as good. It's definitely not as good. It's fine, but it's... You can't quite get the same perspective. And it doesn't translate as well into drawings for me anyways. Mojo, I guess that's a good skill to have if you get poison. <laughs> so you can certainly try. I can try, but sh uh, I don't wanna. Two, two scroops. Thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> <sighs> Falling air that a burp is me. No, I don't want to do. I don't wanna. Use a Barbie. Oh, Max. Steel. Barbies are not bad. There's a blank Figma figure you can get that comes in a few sets of proportions. Posing. Yeah. But yeah, if you go to a Gumpla store, see if they have them there. They're much more useful, I found, than wooden ones. How's your VTuber so expressive? It's literally so mesmerizing. Oh, thank you, Dagon. I made it myself, so I've. I've gotten used to the parameters necessary to make sure I express properly, as well as uh, I, I've, I literally move a whole lot while I talk, so it's very, very handy. It's a good skill to have. It kind of happens after you're, you're a VTuber for long enough, you, you learn to over-animate yourself when you're talking. Fun. 
Basically, prepare your- <laughs> I'm not gonna burp! I'm not gonna burp on stream! Can you animate with Procreate? Yes, you can. At least on iPad. Non-drawing question. Any recommendations on where my one might learn to sing? Considering trying to find lessons, but I'm wholly expecting those to be way expensive to justify. I think that's a little difficult because I've... I trained with choir when I was a kid. And I just liked singing, so a lot of the times I would just go into an area where no one would be bothered. <laughs> Hi Luna Panda 69 Welcome to the tavern. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope y'all are having a lovely evening. What were y'all doing? What were y'all up to? But yeah, I recommend just trying to sing by yourself. And if you, if you want to improve, then you might have to look into lessons or tutorials on YouTube. What's your opinion on Nerf Blasters? Fun. When you start over expressing and moving, it's time. Yes, exactly. You, you really... You become an animated character. And so it's really fun <laughs> seeing VTubers move IRL because they, they move a lot. And it's very entertaining to watch. Life imitates art, imitates life. The animator becomes the animated. Indeed. Hi, Eladur. Eldarir. Hi. Bum, bum. My nose is so cute. <laughs> Thank you. I like my nose. I'm growing to like it. What type of device to use to draw? I use Wacom 22 inch pro. It's very good. I think it's pro anyways. Thank you, guy, for the tool command. Guy's on top of the commands for, like, the entire night. Dang. Try singing somewhere where no one can hear me, like, at home. When no one's home. Yes! I do that a lot. I sing while I do art. It's it's hard. Any ideas is to try and draw new poses. I feel like I stick too much with the same poses or I'm not creative enough. I would recommend looking at um, stock images of people, like, doing life drawing poses. Or if you look up life drawing poses, a lot of the times you will find real people posing out, or like some with some with like swords, some with uh, different weapons, some just dancing, some doing random stuff like business. I recommend looking at those and trying to do poses, and reference poses from there. So you can get a lot of good ideas there. So in other words, I do just fine with the mo model since I already moved like a Muppet. You might. You might. What do you use for eye tracking? I use uh, iPhone 12 Pro for my for all my tracking. It's not just eye tracking. It's just like full face tracking. Good night, Luna. I'm glad you had a fun stream. Sorry, I missed you coming in. Ah. Oh, you're playing Dead by Daylight. Ooh, fun. I hope you had a good time. Want to learn how to rig and how to create maybe a future animated model? What do you recommend for starters? Uh, depends. Are you do you mean like a like a a VTuber model or like for actual animation? Because for that you probably need different tutorials. But for a VTuber model, you can literally look up how to make VTuber model or VTuber model tutorial, and there's a lot of really good YouTube channels. Bam, bam. Ooh, Blues, you got your whack on bamboo working? I had to disable finger touch because it was mapped upside down and the buttons don't work very well though. At least the pen works. Ooh. Hopefully that's not a problem. Your favorite breed of sandwich? Ooh, I like BLTs. Ooh. If not a BLT, just... Pretty simple. Like, cheese and ham. They're tasty. Good night, Davin. Or Davin. No, yes, so bad at the game, but so much fun. Great game. Good. I'm glad you had a lot of fun. And don't worry about sticking around if you need to get some rest. I will be wrapping up stream fairly soon as anyway, so I'll see y'all very soon. You have Discord. Yes, we do, actually. Exclamation point, Discord. There is a password to get in, so you must read the rules in order to find it. A little, it's a little game or a hunt. Mainly just lurk here because of social anxiety, but I want to say hi. Your streams are so chill to watch and help me to get over art block. Hey, I'm so glad, Nadar. Thank you. Sorry, you <laughs> don't ever feel like you have to interact if it makes you uncomfortable. It's okay. I, I definitely understand that. <laughs> it's rough. Game Illustrator, if you're having trouble drawing weapons, just grab your own 
Your own stuck for an angle for the dagger. Grab your tanto knife. I have that many knives? I was never allowed to have that many knives. <laughs> Luna wanted to show my love for my fave girl. Thank you. Good night. Thanks for the ones who follow love. Good night. You ever tried to raise only one eyebrow to see if the model recognizes it? Yeah. I usually have to close my eye because it's hard. It takes a lot of focus. <laughs> Uh, if you have that many knives to draw reference from, that's cut above the rest. Good way to take a stab at it. Okay, these are good. These are some quality dad jokes right now. Buy all the knives. Push all the buttons. Oh. oh. <sighs> the amount of times I wanted to buy a cool knife, but then mom said no. She was right, of course, but still wanted it. Can't do a rock eyebrow raise? Unfortunately not. I'm just not skilled enough for that. Shame. <laughs> oh. Hi, Velvet. I hope you're doing well. Luna, good night. Thank you for the 200 shinies. Honey, you're an adult now. You can buy a cool knife. I, I know. I can buy cool kitchen knives now. They don't have to be really fancy big knives. They can just be kitchen knives. Vasquez, thank you for the breathe redeem. Oh, yeah. Whew. As long as it cuts the ch Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Let's see who's awake. Who's up at this this late hour? Jeez. <laughs> that is cool. Thank you for the prime. Welcome to the tavern. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so, so much. Let's see. I'm just making sure that they are not ending streams. Ooh, okay. Let's visit an other someone else. An artist. Let me see. Let's see, what's a good raid message? Oh, they're doing art too, so this is actually a good time. That was cool. Found your stream like an hour ago and just been eating while watching. Ah, I hope we've been having fun and eating good stuff. Hi, Nate. Ooh. Alrighty. We are going to go visit another VTuber who is doing art right now. They're very cool. Oh, thank you, Purple. Pur purple Tonka Dog. <laughs> thank you. But yes. Uh. Thank you so much for coming to the feedback stream. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something and you got to relax a little, a little bit at least. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. Mafia, I just got here this over, but I'm still going to follow. Thank you. I will be streaming uh, Friday at 6 p.m. EST. I am not sure what we're going to be streaming yet. I still have to set this week's schedule. But... I hope you've been having fun. Actually, Mariac, that's a really good raid message. Let's do that one. Gobrus. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. We're gonna go surprise Beire. They are a very, very good artist. I think y'all will like their stuff. Please be kind. Be polite. I know y'all probably already always will be. I do appreciate it. Very kind of you. You got a 17 page article to read? Jeez, that is a lot. <laughs> but yes, if you want to see my art, feel free to check my socials. I am occasionally in the Discord for the most part. Try to keep it chill. I am very busy, so. Sawas, thank you for the posture check. 
and Askin, thank you for the earwiggles. <laughs> All right. I will see y'all soon, okay? I hope you're gonna get some rest. I'm gonna go relax. I'm gonna eat some food. Maybe I'll watch some Wednesday with Cove. Ooh, we're on episode three now. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I think it'll be fun. Min, you won't? All right, Min, you do you. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for coming. I really, really appreciate it. And there'll be more art streams to come. More relaxing times. I'm super excited for them. I'm so excited to do art. But all right, I'll catch you later, okay? Have fun. See you soon.